I get everything, dude. Denise, Denise. No, okay, here's a good one. When I got my hair cut this week, the barber goes, oh, have you been here before, dude? And he's like, I hope he's not watching right now. He's an interesting dude. Uh, he's like, you been here before? I'm like, yeah, I've been here. Like, you in the system? Like, I don't think so. Okay, what's your name? I was like, it's Evan. He's like, what was that? I was like, it's Evan. I he's like, I well, letters, my dude. It's not that big. That's All right, we're okay. Live. How do you spell I'm that? Muted. So I spell it. Live and muted. Hey, <laughs> sorry if you're that dude from Nomad Barbershop who I'm talking about right now. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure that you had our, one of our zero followers. <laughs> Thanks for He'd never heard that name before. He's like, Don't take so anyway, uh, it's 100% not. It's, like a, I mean, it's not super common. Oh. But it's, not like, it's not like that. Not like that reminds me of that one time I went to Walmart to buy my kid a kite and the guy had never heard of a kite before. <laughs> he was like, he's like, a what? I was like, a kite. That's way worse. He's like, he's like, he's like way worse. A what? I was like, yeah, freaking, like, like, you put it in the sky like a kite. He's like, man, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> like, you work in the toy section. I'm pretty sure we don't sell flying machines here, sir. <laughs> you're going to have to pretty go to sure the <laughs> How stupid do you think I am? Um, all right. All right. All right. Let me get my notes. Jump straight into this. <laughs> it wouldn't be a true episode of Wizards Inc. if I wasn't running around sweating before we Nah, started. man. Yeah, and what's this? Hmm? What's this brick going to? Brick? Yeah, this, like, this oh. brick. Could somebody plug in my laptop? The cord is under the table. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, guys. That's the band on top of the, the bunker. I mean, I'm still at 38%, but it's fine. It's fine. Could you charge it from your computer? Anyway, guys. Hey, what's up? My name's Adam. What's your name? Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host and Dungeon Master. Let's just get rolling, man. Uh, I don't know if it was me that to the end. I'll just have to sprint upstairs again. Why not? Uh, last right. we left off. Yes. Yeah, whose turn is it? Uh, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Shut we'll up. We'll get there. <laughs> All right. So, running down leads, fitting, uh, sorry, putting the clues together, hunting down the cult of bros. This all led you to this king. As you enter, you were immediately set upon by a massive fireball which decimated some of your resources. Yep. No one died yet, per se. <laughs> Spoilers. Well, you yeah, found a man that you've come to know as Norris, which I accidentally gave you his last name of Kincaid. Oh, shoot. Is he dead yet? He is dead. Okay, never mind. Is He's he related dead. to Thomas Kincaid? Uh, <laughs> no. Both fictional, but none. Um, the... The, the leader of the cult, Norris, joined by several of his cultists, assistants, a lieutenant, and a six-arm, half-giant snake demon woman. Half-giant. Set upon you. The battle commenced. Some of you became aware of a summoning circle, a ritual deeper in the tunnel. And that when Dude. Baylor arrived. Flaming whip, lightning sword in hand, its mere presence incinerated some of its summoners. So something strange was happening. The Baylor was being drawn into a crystal. And as Carmack began to move away from the creature, it lashed out with its whip, drawing Carmack back and plunging its sword deep into his back. Carmack grew still as his life slipped away. I almost cried. That is, I believe, I may be wrong, but I'm just going to assume it. We ended at the end of the Baylor's turn, which leads us to... No, we did not. The Baylor. Hey, I actually know what happened. Yeah. Uh, the Baylor got sucked into that crystal, and then a butterfly appeared. Yes. So. Well, sorry, bro. Sorry. I, are I you saying that. that it's still alive or not? It got sucked into the crystal. That's what it Yeah, did. the Baylor was sucked into the crystal, and a butterfly did emerge. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you were saying it was still alive. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only Absalom saw the butterfly. And yeah. in fact, only Absalom knows that the uh, Armac is falling. Okay. Oh 
Taryn, what do you do? I oh my lesson. gosh. Actually, was Taryn used in action to telepathically speak to the creature, to the to the Maryland? Yes. Is that correct? Yes, that is yeah, that's she right. said, yeah, she you said. You go, what do you want? Your your ally's dead. And she goes, come here, little pig, and I'll show you. That's right, right. Yeah. But I don't know Carmack's dead. It's not as your daddy. Nice. Ow. I think you still have your movement and a bonus in my laptop. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to. Okay, yeah, we'll say movement and a bonus action. Or... Okay. No. I. Full turn. I'm not going to charge you an action for that because it was fun. Nice. So I get a full turn? Yeah. 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 All right, boys, going in. I'm going to run in and try and cast light on her. Or use light my... again. The cantrip? No, it's a it's a thing that I have. It's a it's just it's called um, hold on. Oh, it's special Yeah, it's it, it's just called light. So really sorry if we can hear anything that I said during all that. Whatever, man. Yeah, that's like a thousand times better. Yeah, we need some fairy fire. That can be real helpful right now. Well, this should do the same thing if she doesn't succeed the throw. So I run in uh, and I touch her. She has, oh gosh. Um, she has to make a deck saving throw. Okay. Here we go, boys. First roll of the night. I use my heavy black demon dice. Uh, I don't see too good. You tell me that was like a natural 20. Oh my gosh. This guy. A natural 20? Ooh. Natural 20, <laughs> my man. The DM is hacking. You run, <laughs> you, you yeah, run up. Wall hack, dude. You run up to her. You place your hand onto a portion of her giant abdomen and she just looks down and smiles at you as this like glitter kind of spreads out oh, and then glitter. fades away. Cool. Lovely. Uh, okay, well. Hold on. Uh, a light just tried to bedazzle her. A 20 foot <laughs> for 20 feet. Guess what? Sparkles. So she's still lit up. Everything is lit up. That's it. Uh, did we decide? It, I mean, she succeeded. Yeah, so if, if she succeeds, it says uh, the light in a 20 foot radius in dim light for an additional 20 feet. The light lasts until your con concentration is. Alternatively, a creature you touch radiates. Oh, sorry, it's different if it's an if it's not a creature, so nothing happens. Sorry. Okay, yeah, that's what we said last time too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, how much movement do I have? You've got yeah. You've moved twenty feet to get to where you are, adjacent to her. Uh, can I get like behind her? Do I have enough movement to get behind her? Yes. Okay. I, mean, I would like to by behind from the from the opposite point at which you started. Let me point to the map and see if you can see. Like I guess I want to be close to Ignum. Uh, you are right next to Ignum, kind of. Okay, then grappled that's, that's I'm grappled by her tail or Ignum is. is. Ignum is. Okay, I would like to stay as close to him as possible. Okay. Without taking an attack of having an attack of opportunity taken on me. Okay. Um, yeah, you're within her melee range, so you do not have to worry about attack of opportunity. Uh, and I don't think I have a bonus action. Hold on. Um, nope, that's it. I'm good. I'm good. Can do Excellent. absolutely nothing. Uh, she will look down towards you as you cast this spell and it fails, and she goes, Thanks for making it easy. Um, that's she's going to be. Twenty-two versus your AC. Yeah, that'll hit. Take thirteen slashing damage. Okay. Second attack. Gonna be a a fifteen versus AC. That hits. Take an additional thirteen. Okay. She will insta-squeeze 
Um, insta squeeze. Yeah, she will insta squeeze Ignum, causing an additional uh, 15 bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Uh, like that. Uh, I am at zero hit points. That's so I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm unconscious. I'm unconscious in the biz. <laughs> yeah, so does that, do I still make death saving throws at an even unconscious? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. You hit just zero on the on the nuts. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. Right on the right on the lumps. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Justin has always been zero on the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got four more attacks. Oh, uh, she's gonna take a swipe towards the shade. That's the oh, shade dude. currently, right? Yeah. It's, uh, I am actually yellow. What's the yellow? Oh, the yellow that's ring. A, that's, that's you. Doesn't make me like. Yeah. Okay. Thing. Um, all right, so 14 versus AC. That's a miss. Okay, so we'll take a second swipe. It's going to be a 30-20. That's a hit. Okay, so poop, he's gone. Hey, Adam, were, did you say all of those points were piercing? Oh, hang on, hang on. Slashing. I have a real quick question. Real quick question. Oh, okay. Um, when she takes a swipe at him, can I use my sentinel? The, I'll let it. I'll allow it. We're warming up for the night. We're warming up. Nah, it's not. Okay. It wasn't like bad, bad, but it was like not. I, mean, I know it's well damage. No. That's okay. Okay. So with that, the shape being destroyed. going to drag Ignum along to Vrogs. Uh, do I get an attack of opportunity? No. <laughs> uh, 27 versus Vrogs. Yeah, that, Yikes. Fair. You take 15, nope, sorry, 13 slashing damage. Did I not blur? I know I cast it on myself. <sighs> I feel like you, mm, crap, I do not remember. Just make it check right now. Okay. I don't, I don't remember. I remember um, him saying. I, I remember that, and I remember you saying you would drop blur to cast something else. Something else. But I don't remember that you actually ended up doing that, because I think it was Witch Bolt, but I don't think you kept Witch Bolt. I think no, you cast I it just as a one-off. Yeah, it's a one-off. Uh, I'll say that you are. I'll say that you're still blurred, so I'll roll again. Okay. Uh, it's 23. That's okay. <laughs> uh, and then now you have to make a constitution saving throw. But yeah. She's over here. 17. So you're fine. You are still blurred. And then she will take her last swipe against Ignum. Did I take game? 13. 13 slashing. Uh, and he will take an additional 13 as well. A 25 for AC. Okay. Yes. Rogs, you're up. Okay. Um, so, so, if I burn a first level slot to get sorcery points back, how many do I get back after burning the first level? Um, I do not recall offhand. It, it's in, it's in the book, but I, I do not recall Gaining, offhand. Do you recall? What is it? Sorry. If, if I burn sorry. if I burn a first level slot to get a second level or to get more sorcery points back, do you remember how many it is? Oh, it's two. 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 So you get two for mm -hmm. first. That's a big part of playing a paladin sorcery. Yeah, you have to be Yeah. So. so. Okay, bonus action. I'm gonna stack my last two sorcery points I have to get a second level spell. And I'm going to cast Shadow Blade on Becky. Nice. Okay. And she's gonna turn into like a like a side long man. scythe looking thing. <laughs> like that. All right. And then uh, so you weave together your threads of shadow to create a 
sword or my better version. Open your hand, the magic sword. Spell and simple melee, which you are proficient in those. D8 psychic damage on hit. So, so that I just use it like quarter staff. Um, it has it has one of the attack does. Well, it should be a, like a spell attack, right? Yeah. Is it a spell attack? Yeah, it uses your spell. Like, okay, so it's plus two, yeah, four. And it's not going to do enough. It's nine. A nine is not enough. As you swing, she just her body just like undulates and she twists away from you. Yeah. And I'm gonna drop blur concentration so I can hold that. Absalom, you're up. I mean, so I'm going to run up to. Okay. I don't stab. No, I stab. No, no. <laughs> Put him out of his misery. Uh, he, he already he is <laughs> well enough. Well, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Um, I'm going to grab the dagger out of the one chick's head, that I okay. and then I'm going to. Where did that butterfly land? Um, as you look around, you notice two things. You notice a blade. Looks like maybe a rapier or something that's fallen on the ground um, just in front of, it's like behind Carmack, about where the demon was. Okay. And then you notice the butterfly that's over on the wall. And you notice that Carmack is lifeless, gouts of blood oozing out, electric burns all across the, his back and scales. So there's a rape Yeah. I don't know what I can do. Um, Question, the girl that had the dagger in her head, she had all this stuff, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I am gonna grab the mask. Okay. Um, Can you say somebody stop me? <laughs> also, you're next. K A R T. Sweet. Am I able to <laughs> catch the butterfly? Keep track. And Nailed it. Let's see if I can drag Carmack the rest of the way if I use more attention than that. Um, yeah, so make a, make a quick attack, just a dexterity attack. Oh, for the butterfly? Yeah. 20, 30. Yeah. Wait, well, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you just you tuck it into a pouch or a, a small vial. Yeah, tuck it away instantly. Grab Carmack kind of unceremoniously, but this time, you know, more's no time for pleasantries. Mm -hmm. And you're able to drag him, we'll say, a 20 feet. Okay. Yeah, I'll Athletics? Yeah. There's half my movement. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, so you can take it Alton, I want to make a stealth roll. Oh, that's uh, 22. Uh, yeah. Go I'm going to sneak up behind that guy right there. The blue dude? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's what a two looks like. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to grab him around the neck. Okay. And just grapple him. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead and make a, a grapple check for the Let's go. Oh, what's a grapple check? Uh, for you, it's an athletics check. Do you have advantage on it? I got a good stealth roll. Yeah, raging? I've been raging. Uh, raging gives you advantage. Thank you. Heck yeah, yeah, that'll get it. Uh, 30, or I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, beats me. 23. Yeah, I still beat my 17. Okay. Beats my 17. So yeah, I'm going to grab him, uh, like, <laughs> right in the crook of my elbow. Uh, what are you doing there? Here. 
I'm gonna give him enough air he can speak. <laughs> and it was more just like you kind of underestimate your own strength when you're raging. Okay. It's not something you're typically used to. <laughs> We've already accomplished what we came for. The beast is free. The world will burn. It didn't look like it's free. Way to go. Did you see it? Did you even see the creature at all? I oh, didn't, but I haven't seen it in a minute. The Baylor. Did you see the Baylor at all? I saw the whip. Okay. Um, I think I saw everyone basically heard it. Though. You heard right. it, and, yeah. I also, and that has grown still. still. Right. The, the thunderous breathing, the shaking of the ground, yeah. it's all grown still. And from our previous encounter where the portals and stuff were, I feel like I have enough knowledge to know that they're trying to get something out. So, yeah. Um, Where's it at? What do you mean, what is it at? Where's it at? It's not here now. It was here a minute ago. Uh, he shakes his head for a moment, confused. I punch him in the ribs. Uh, I go in, yeah, what's your uh, strength modifier plus? Uh, yeah, you don't have to roll. Okay, yeah, he's definitely hit. Strength modifier. Actually, key. for you, if it's an attack. I'm, uh, well, you can't technically. Okay, so we'll say this is more for effect then. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not for, trying to more damage for damage. Just, uh, so you, uh, also keep your right. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It's free. It's, it's supposed to destroy the world. Why do you want it to destroy the world? Because you deserve it. And I'll say that's about as much as okay, you get. Okay, that's my turn. Um, all right. Eric. Oh, boy. All right. Um, Real quick, Absalom, did you say you grabbed the rapier? Uh, I figured I, I, I would have. I could, but I figured with all everything I was doing, I don't uh, interact with the object. If you just pick it up, yeah, no big deal. Then, yeah. Um, we'll say that you do notice, uh, just kind of briefly, it's not your main focus of attention, but it's a finely crafted rapier and has three diamonds set into the handle, one of which is cracked. All right. And it's warm to the touch. Okay. Rapidly cooling, but when you first touch it, it almost burns your hand. Okay. So, Phil, I'm going to make an uh, appraisal check. Ooh. Okay. Bizarre. Hit it. Maybe not great. Uh, I think it's a 10. On the wand? The wand. I'm wanting to know that one specific thing. It's possible. Okay. That's the only thing I care about. The rest of it is not for the care. So, but, um, okay, so your boy's going to um, do I have movement to hit me to get to her? Get to her? Okay. I'm not sure where I'm at. No, I said go ahead. Five, ten, fifteen. 20. Uh, yeah, you're 20 feet away from me. Okay, perfect. Sorry, man. I forgot. Um, so just turn back in my mind, trying to get my head around this. Um, I want to know if I were to like uh, what was it? Goldberg spear her. Okay. If I could get old old boy out of her grapple. I'm not gonna say no. Okay, that's too good. Maybe because we all look old. Yeah. I'm just saying. I mean, just, like, do you do the mind, stance? Like you sit there, she's turn around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight up. Dude. <laughs> 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 so, like, uh, yeah, dude, I, I, I'm not going to say no. It, it is possible. She is, te she technically speaking, she no. is large. large. Yeah. Um, she's, a seat, which she's one above us. She's going to yeah. 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 she's, right. she's, she's like 15 feet long. But you can actually grab this one side yeah. bigger than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do more than that yeah. without special assistance. So I will give it a maybe on the dice. You will have <laughs> okay. to make, you will have to roll well. Sure. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to um, I actually want to so I want yeah. to summon um, <laughs> I want to summon uh, one of my echoes behind me and then both run so so she basically won't be able to see the second one and i'm going to try to spear her i'm going to try to spear like 
pancake? No, 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 no. Like he's behind. Okay, so you just basically you just want to like. I'm yeah. just hedging my bet. You want to like, like uh, you want to like shadow I kick. Like, I don't super hit her, so it's like, oh man, I almost got it. Then old boy comes in and he's like, yeah, yeah, but I did. So. Wait, that's gonna be a sound spike. Sorry if you got headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. All right. Uh, yeah. So, so that's what I did. Real good on both. Uh, one is a, uh, let's see, 21 and 23. Okay. So I had determined not bad. before you'd said this, I was like, how do I give it like a DC without actually making a DC because this is intact? And I was like, plus five to AC. Fair. Which is a 23. That's that's what we call a success. That's a success. Your boy. <laughs> Boom. What's up? Okay, so Ingram is not. Sorry proud. for the audio yeah. spike. I rolled I rolled a one to see if she could hold on. Okay. So Ingram falls prone, but is there. You take her five feet, and you are both prone. Okay. Um, I want to yell to Ingram. You have to get them out now. And that's my turn. Okay. All right. It's Ignum's turn. By the way, did you yell anything? Did you, did you tell anybody that no, Carmelo was down? Okay. Does Ignum respond to that? Uh, he immediately, immediately stands up, have his movement. As far as, I mean, meta wise, there's no. Yeah. Did you? Uh, was that just like you didn't think of it, or? It, it, you I was figured I was too far away and around the corner. I didn't know if it was even there. So no. Right. That's well, true. I didn't. I didn't. If Danny didn't think of it, then I'm okay with it. If you think Absalom would not have yelled to give away position or something like that, then that's your. Then that's a choice that's at that pretty, point. I don't want to leave it up to that's like, an accident. I accidentally forgot to do that. That's legit. I think Absalom. It's more about. The advantage, so he's always talking about getting the advantage. Over there, so. Okay, all right. Uh, that does mean that Ignum does not know that anyone is down. So he scans the room quickly. Um, I imagine I'm like struggling with her, dude. Come on, yeah. Well, you guys, yeah, she's You've beginning got to, to she's, go. she's gonna try to constrict you. Jeez, oh, did not think that I would have to make you. Player like decisions. <laughs> oh. No, it was last night. And then I came in at five. Was it bird? Gross, dude. Yeah, yeah it's a it was a long trip. Did you take a nap and come back to work? Pretty much. It's a four hour nap. That's cool. Yeah. Time to get on. <clears throat> One minute. Just getting back into five? Mm -hmm. Nah, dude. Not yet. <laughs> Truth. Mm -hmm. call. Yo, keep the job. I don't want to. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know what you get paid, but it's not enough. <laughs> it's yeah, it's, it's not enough. Hard yeah. pass. I was going to make it $40 an hour. Then make it $45 as well. <laughs> 38 hard pass. Hard pass. Um, he's gonna attack her. Okay. Uh, Ignum runs up with his maul and slams down. Ignum maul. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I just he has his hand together. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That first one is gonna be a hit. Picking a mall, swinging a mall at the mall. <laughs> wow, they just got mauled. <laughs> 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 Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I took care of kids. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's a banger. Was it malicious? <laughs> Harsh. That was a good one. I don't know. It's over now. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I was playing a gnome. It's I good. Know, so it's, it's good, but uh 
still a pretty big number. Smoking, you got him, my dude. Smoking, if you hey, got him. Hey, super smart. Wow. He's still saving that third little spell slot, so that costs him a D8. Dang. But he gets an extra D8. He's a he's a little twelve. Yeah, try again. A little twelve sorcerer. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> no. All right. So that's two hits. <laughs> two hits. So you're like you're like holding her down and like writhing, and he's like he times it, but then you like every once in a while you'll get on top and you'll pin her down and just bam, slam her in the face. No, oh my no, gosh, my dude. Boy, right. This is legit. Oh, that is all dang near max on the smite. It's gonna be. Thirty-seven. Yeah. Come on, Ignum. We got to do this thing, boys. Did I ever show you the numbers of like a like how they do like the? I said pound sorcerer. They do the quick grab and they do a smite. Play. It's nasty. All right. So with this, there's this flash of white light every time as he hits her, and this imprint that kind of sizzles and cracks, like almost like uh, like cooling magma. Uh, as he as he impacts, yeah, it almost causes you to like wince Wind. as you as he slams into her twice, uh, and that is the end of his turn. Carmack, make a charisma saving throw. No. Okay, let's see. Come on, Carmack. Knock attack. <laughs> about to come back. Fifteen. Fifteen? Oh, no. Uh, Seventeen, sorry. Seventeen, okay. In the darkness, you hear a voice. Carmack? Oh, snap. And your vision begins to clear somewhat. You still find yourself in darkness, almost like the upside down and oh, stranger yeah. things. And you turn around and you see Safara walking towards you. Karma, right, you're not supposed to be here. I, I kind of look around and I'm like, I'm not really sure where here is, but... It's good to see you. It's good to see you as well. I've, I mean, I've got so many questions. I know, I, I know that you do. I, I can try to answer some of them, but it takes, it takes a lot to be here, even here, when you've come so close. You're like, I mean, I guess first I, I just, where did you go? I had to go home, actually. And I know that that's maybe not as specific as you'd like, but you're not ready for the whole truth just yet. Oh. I mean, yeah, that that's fine with me. Like, it's, it's just, it's so good to know that you're I mean, whole, at least? I mean, are you okay? It's complicated. It is complicated. It, um, it took a lot to plant the seed of power in you. Oh, she's planting her seed in you. <laughs> <laughs> and I need you to hang on just a little bit longer. Your friends may yet be able to help you. So, Don't upon hearing this, yeah. Uh, so, upon hearing this, I like haven't fully realized that I'm dead at the moment, <laughs> or in the process of dying. And then I like it starts to dawn on me like where I am, kind of, and I'm like, oh man. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not supposed to be here. All right, and hold on that thought. Taryn, you're up. All right, boys. Saving throw number one. 
Eat it and yeet it. Am I right? Uh, <laughs> what? Oh crap! I forgot you were down. <laughs> An eleven. Damn, it's not a very good palate. <laughs> That's good. He looks around, sees you dead, and goes and fights. <laughs> <laughs> Is our bad. death save just a straight roll? Do I yes. add anything to it? Yeah, 10, no, I got an 11. I 10 got an 11. And under so, is a so. fail. 11 to 20 is a success. Got an 11 on the dice. So. All right. That's one success for you. Ooh. Is that, and then that's that 20 is two successes, right? Yes. Okay. Actually, am I, am I wrong on that? A natural 20, does that stabilize you? A natural 20 on death save? Natural 20 automatically brings you... Ooh, even better. So yeah, go ahead and hit that in that 20 next time, okay? Yeah, yep. Um, yeah, I think it automatically stables and might give you one hit point. I can't remember. Yeah, that 20 gives you one HP. Yeah. Right. That happened to Absolute last time we went down. Because I'm lost. You've got a writhing snake on your hands. Oh, let's uh, go, boys. She's going to try to break free. Try to break free. Okay, what's up? Roll it. Not my best work, but uh, what was that one? 16. 16 total? Yeah. Yeah, I got a 19 on the dice. So with this, uh, she's immediately going to, you can feel you, yourself losing the grapple advantage here, and she is going to try to constrict you. Now that was to break the grapple. Yes. She has to do another one to get the grapple. Yes. Oh, okay. So this one's to get the grapple? Yes. I rolled she it. She broke out. I rolled it too. I rolled it. You go ahead and roll it in case you roll one. But yeah. As she's got. Now, you uh, know what? It's an, I take that back. She only gets the multi-attack action if she if she takes that. So she does not get the multi-attack because she broke free. Okay, so that grapple. was. So that free. is her turn. Okay. So she breaks free. She, she stands up. Yes. We get an opportunity to attack you. You can well, say yes. You definitely now question. Do you I get to use my shadow blade? Yeah, I so. hmm? yeah, yeah, my yeah. shadow Becky. It's where you move it to. What my Let me see if I get that. Yes, I need opportunity attacks from Ignum, Rogs, and Eric. Eric is prone. So you have this advantage. You guys <laughs> pull out of the use half no. movement to stand up. Yeah. I rolled a big six. Six total? Yeah. <laughs> Did you roll on your table? No. Just see because you when you cast that spell. Go ahead and do that for me. You guys could use another dragon. We're saying no freaking lie. What'd you what'd you get? Uh, the first one was awesome. Uh, uh, Eleven. Uh, first one was twenty-two, which is a banger. But no, I mean that was yeah. But that's how it goes. Uh, Ignum, Ignum gets a hit. I like that. Four. Um, yeah, I rolled a four on the dice too. It sucks. Yeah, dude. We're with 15, but I had disadvantage. Are you wanting me to roll back? Yeah, yeah, table? yeah. Okay. If you. Yeah. An eye appears on your forehead for the next minute during that time. You have advantage on wisdom and perception checks that rely on sight. Okay. Do you want to watch? I gotta do. So <laughs> Do we do food? I didn't hear any of uh, I'm, I'm still not finished yet. Right. Oh my uh, gosh. Get the za. Sure. Taryn, as you are clinging to life, oh no! Oh, you can gosh. feel a presence close in around you. Oh no! <laughs> and a voice in your ear says, "I told you." I told you. The one on an attack. How many do I have left? How many? What do you have left? No, no, no. Oh, oh okay. you're right. You're right. Right. Okay. You're not dead yet. You're not dead yet. Next turn. Oh, no. That one counts for the next time, though, dude. You can't string me like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, hey, at the same time, go ahead and roll the, the other five that she has. 
Uh, no, no. Okay, so there's that. Um, with that, it is Vrogs' turn. Uh, um, where, where are, are you down? No. Okay. Can I use my movement to get Eric up? Full movement. Take yeah, up. I'll allow that. Damn. I'll allow that. Come I'm going to help. Come on, boy. So. <laughs> As he does, I I, I look and you know, just read the face. I don't know if we'll make it out of this one. Wrong job, up. Wrong right. job. <laughs> Let's see what we can do, Chucklehead. Uh, Be right back. Um, Absalom, you're next. I want to cast. Uh, I'm just going to do a one off of Witch Bolt at it. Okay. Seven. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. As as you I'm lift to Eric up to his feet and you you say you speak those words of confidence, you turn towards her and you see her looming figure kind of coiling over Taryn's body. Your hand shakes a bit with that inherent fear, and your bolt goes wide. No. You tried. At least, at least it was Karen. <laughs> Is there any way I saw my bone back? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, is there yeah. any way yeah. I can hide? <laughs> At least there's uh, someone no, we here in the office. office. Okay. Could uh, you hide like behind you, me? If I, um, oh, I can't move. Yeah, you, yeah, you still. I'm pushing still. I know, Logan. Could you have been behind me though? Yeah. Well, yeah. I have two less yeah. feelings. So, bonus uh, action. Oh, I have all my stuff. Pop it again. Yeah. 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 I'm going to use it. I'm going to continue dragging farm back. <laughs> okay. Nice. Another. Full movement, so 40 feet. Or What's a lesser? 20. Oh, I have no idea. Um, 4 plus uh, 2. Bonus action back, so like 2d4 plus 2. Full movement. So 30 yeah. feet, you said? Yeah. However much that is. Mm, that 40 feet. Yeah. And as I'm closer now, I'm going to say, Garmax dead! No. Aiden will turn to look towards you. And then um, I'm going to take my normal movement. Okay. By yourself? Yeah. With Karnak again. Yeah. Do it, man. Do it. I 100%. Where are you going? Going around the corner. Oh my gosh. As far as I can. About tap that. That's rough. Do I see snake leader? Yeah. 3540. I can't move that far. And then I'm going to throw the plus one dagger right at her face. Okay. Boy, you're attacking. Do it. It goes wide. You hear clank off the cave wall. But she does turn towards you. She holds up a finger on one of her hands. Wait your turn. Oh boy. Anything else? I'm gonna now I'm yeah, I just brandish the plus two bag. I'm ready, ready myself. Okay. Alton, then Eric. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to squeeze this dude again. Uh, what are you trying to accomplish? A cleansing of the world. That doesn't make any sense. What happens to you? What happens to you if the world burns? I'm already dead. We all are. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm going to punch him inside again. <laughs> I've lost everything I've ever cared about. I don't, I don't care about you. Why would you want to die? He doesn't say anything else. Uh, okay, then I'm going to grab him and throw him into the, the six-arm chick. I'm going to literally use him as a projectile. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> like make that. an improvised. Web. So first thing you got to make is strength. Okay. Or intelligence since you're raging. Right. Oh. oh. Do I have advantage? I'm raging. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's the exact same number. <laughs> oh, 
that's a nine. Nine total. Um, he flies about ten feet and then skates to the ground. Okay. Am I able to? In fairness, that was, that was a twenty foot throw. Okay. Uh, am I able to do anything else? That will be your action. You have a bonus and move. Uh, I'd like to use my bonus action, or well, I'll use my movement to move adjacent to him. Okay. With the thing you go. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to spit on his body. Okay. I'm just going to spit on him. All right. Piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Sean, uh, Eric, you're up. Okay. She, she, you do catch her attention with this as well. Come to you. I want to put my hand on him's shoulders. Or shoulder, not shoulders. It's focus. You have to get them out. Away from her. Now. And I run to... Would you say that too? Aiden. Okay. This is the second time I've said it. I'm oh, sorry, attacking him. <laughs> uh, okay. I want to. It's a rough thing. I want to tell you something, but I, you know, shouldn't because it's not something you know. That's, that's legit. <laughs> Is it something about pizza? Pizza's order. Okay. Hey! Is it something about pizza? <laughs> I'm going to go up. Uh, I'm going to run up to her. Just the one right behind her. Like, so I'm flanking her and her tearing my own. Well, just like right behind her. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, some of my echo to the one. Adjacent to me, uh, like closest to you. Uh, that one's fine. Yes, sir. Close. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It's there. one half of me. Um, and then I will use my last, my last uh, unleashed incarnation. Although, hang on, this is I've only used it once. But I think I've used it twice. Technically used it last time with the tackle. Right? No, because that, that allows him to, to make two attacks, right? Well, did you use it last time? Yeah, Okay, so then I only have one more. Unless that was Unless that was Have you used it at all? I've used it at least once. I only I remember I, once. Oh, my, oh, my, I, oh, maybe you did it twice. I think I might have. All right. All right. No, I think I did it twice last time. Um, I think I did. Yeah. Well, I think that's three times. Okay. Uh, in that case, I still do what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. I would like to, in that case, move my echo uh, up one. Sure, you're not getting your attack mixed up with Sentinel? Because you think you Sentinel a lot last time. A lot. I'm pretty sure I used it. I know that's not as like beneficial, but I'm pretty sure that's kind of sure what See, there's too much loot around here. I can't do it. Uh, <laughs> I know you like all my little three. I like your right chest. There. Yeah. I want to. Okay, I want to. Uh... Regardless, I'll come back and throw a stealth check. Twenty-four. Twenty-four to hit. Yeah. Can't block that no matter what. So, oh uh, yeah, she tries to. As she can hear your movement around her. She tries to swing back to parry, uh, swing back to parry your attack, but she fails to succeed. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be a hit. Are we doing? What's that? Are we doing clanking? No, not my best word. Take, take, just do all the time. So you uh, what is that? Uh, two levels of the nether, right? Nine. Nine damage. Nine damage. Fine. Yo, can I do a fire? Fire, dude. Tell me why you're the best fire. Three levels of the chest. 
multiplies. Yeah, you, so this, you, you notice as you take this slash, it cuts a little deeper than it was before, almost like she's losing some of her resistance. Okay. I want to even, I even want to, I even want to uh, taunt her a little bit. And I want to say, care if I cut the line. Make persuasion check. I didn't listen back at the very end. Not great. I don't know. So she's kind of she's gonna slash back to try to block your attack, and you catch into her back. She does look over her shoulder at you, and you can see that she smiles. Um, all right. So it's not my best this. word. But... Ignum's turn. Uh, and he will use his action to lay on hands for 30 HP into Terran. Oh, into me? All he magnified all this stuff, right? That was it. Well, how much? 60. Yeah. No, I mean, Wait, just a bunch of frogs. I meant Terran, I'm scared. So yeah, how much HP do you have, Terran? That uh, puts me all the way up. Uh, what I mean, was your max? Yeah. My max is 26, I think. Okay, so he's still got, uh, that leaves him with six, uh, no, four, four. yeah, four HP less. But that's still, I can still bring up somebody that's easy. No, I mean, that four HP. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, that's his turn. Carmack, charisma saving throw. As you begin to feel a tension and a pulling and a weight on your chest, it gets a little bit more difficult. Ten. You blink and Safara is gone. You are alone in the darkness. Taryn, you're up. As you gasp I'm back, I'm not melee with her anymore, right? You are. You feel this warmth course over your body. You're your wounds close up. She crawled over towards you. Yeah, she's she's hovering right over top of you. She's going for the kill. Yeah, you are prone here. She is right above you, basically. Uh, I am going to use blind spot and make her forget me. Okay. So she has to make a wisdom saving throw. Verify something. Let's see what that Things only last for one round, right? Yeah. That's something that's enough to get out of dodge. You said wisdom saving throw? Yep. 26. Dude. Air save or the mask? 18 on the dice. All right. It's hard for me to see point. where I am. I'm sorry. So, could someone just point to my um, character for me? Yeah. This is you on the ground. Okay. The green, the green dot is her, and you're surrounded by allies. So, half your movement. Stand up. Can I get behind that wall if I try and get out? Uh, that's this behind. Wall? I I don't. No, on the other side. That one's too far away. Th this one? That wall, yeah. Okay, five. I have... Let me see here. Ignum is actually there. So five, 10, 15, 20 feet. How, what's your speed? Uh, 30. Yeah, so you only have 15 feet from where you are. Can I get behind anything? Uh, this one's 20? actually a little closer. So five, oh. 10, 15 could put you here. And I, am, am I out of line of sight? No, you cannot break her line of sight. Uh, how 
I gotta, yeah, I gotta do it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip over that way. Okay. And take the attack of opportunity. All twenty. Too <laughs> much. She'll take a swing. Wait, has, she, has she has she already used a reaction this turn? She gets a she reaction. She gets one on every. Turn. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's right. That's, right. Uh, that's gonna be. That's gonna be a twenty-seven to hit. You take thirteen sure. slashing damage. Okay. But then again, we, you can counter spell, counter spell. We haven't been doing that for her, so in fairness. Because she hasn't for, she hasn't been parrying our, our reactions. So she well I think parry is she can. Problem. Um she can parry reactions. And it's just never come up. Either you've hit too high or you hit too I'll high. I'll read the I'll read the single thing so we can yeah, sort yeah. of clarify. When a creature within five feet and he makes an attack against a target other than you, you need your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the attacker. I say it's in the it's in the definition, attack of opportunity. So go ahead. You you attack her attack. You get attack and even if they disengage it's seven turns. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm gonna allow that because you can counterspell a counterspell. So okay. that's great. That's it's the cast. Right. Did you hit basically? Her? You, you, Although I do no. opportunity and opportunity attack. Um, all right, so that's Tyrion. That brings us to the Merolith. There's a whirlwind of arms and fingernails. Uh, Eric the Real. Uh, gonna be that's a it's a 15. That's AC. Second attack. Ooh, worse. Third. Third attack. 13. Okay. Fourth attack. Getting my sushi dice. 19. We're getting better. That, does, that matches. Okay. A 19, you take 13 slashing damage. Uh, I'll roll again. We've got more time. I'm going to start rolling again. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Guys, when we take the average, you want me to roll. Could work for you, could work against you. I like rolls. Personally. Okay. Like, I'm going to roll. Like roll. Roll. That's roll. Fun. 2d8. Um, is that another d8? 47. <laughs> First one. Do right off, right off the bat. Take nine slashing damage instead of 13. Um, with that, uh, my next one is a miss. So four attacks against you, one hit. Um, just going to take one more against you and one against your shade. Against you, that's a two. Against your shade is like a 27 million. So <laughs> shade count. Shade boys, dude. Where that and then she's going to make a tail attack. I almost like against... the idea cinematically. It's like she yeah. swings at the, the uh, at, at, at Eric, and the, it's just like like and it hits the shade. And That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this sounds good. Tail attack is twenty six. Oh yeah, that's kind of good. That one will do. Because I don't Four, think she's uh, sixteen damage. No. Yes, 16 damage. And you are grapple. All right. In forward, buddy. Merlith's turn over. Frogs. Uh, I'm going to do magic missile. OK. Roll your damage. How does she look? Ten damage. Um, you can see that she does. So her wounds have been getting progressively deeper. Um, her natural skin is just so tough and otherworldly, but it's breaking down gradually. So she's not like oozing blood from you know all these wounds, but she's you're breaking into, you're breaking through. Can I see the call? Uh, uh, yeah, I did 10 damage to a magic missile. 10 damage. And so I'm going to move right there <laughs> and then bonus action hide. Okay, go ahead. And, uh, yeah, go to roller stealth check. That was almost 15. Absalom, you're next. Oh, it's not good. 
six. <laughs> you feel good about it though. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody can see your walls, <laughs> right? Everybody else can see that he's like, he's hugging this corner so tight you can see part of his robe on the <laughs> other side. <sighs> Absalom, you're up. Alton, you're next. Okay. Sweet. I'm going to bonus action to shout out Dave. Okay. okay. Miss. Oh, you missed it. Could be that kind of fight, boys. It could be like when you like go to church or something nice, pour down the furniture. Yeah. Oh, dang, boy. I'm gonna run up, magic dagger, and uh, magic dagger, not in hand. No, the other one. The other one. The good one. He's got the plus one. Oh, that's right. And he got the plus two big boy that he just got. I'm gonna go and stab her in the gut. Play the snake. Do you have the turn on this? Yeah, like she's, in, she's in five I'm feet of an alley. That's though. just like, I just get the same thing. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. the okay. next round. Same thing. Yeah, you, you I don't need it. She just needs to be Got it. 21 hits. Uh, Usually. Oh! As she parries okay. one of her six arms. Oh, get the sword, man. That's it. I'm rogue. <laughs> I'm rogue. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to do some Winter Soldier? Oh, round? dude, that'd be kind of sick. Bonus action. Well, I can't. I don't have to do first. That's true. Uh, that's true. Because, dude, that's one of my favorite moments, by the way, in all wait, wait, of the Marvel you, Universe. That, be, that, that be, Captain America Winter Soldier. Like, yeah. Could that be one of your cunning actions, though? The potion? Yeah. It doesn't say it. Cunning action says. Yeah, but we, you're not supposed to be yeah, able just to drink a potion action. as a bonus action. Yeah. yeah. I think it would make sense. For, especially for you if you do a cunning action. It's up to you. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna let slide. <laughs> Unless you just because I think the thing with the cutting action is that those are things that you you practice. Honestly, so I wouldn't much. even drop the knife. I'd say like like I'm just imagining like you could like run 30 feet with a bonus action. Yeah, I just think it's more more of like stuff that you practice all the time. If you just like pop a cord and swing, you know, if you practice that, then you, you can build drunk. it in. If, if you're an alcoholic, we can build this into you know, <laughs> down, <laughs> but there's a 50% chance I, that you will grab some. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, Let's do it. it. Us, but yeah. Let's get smashed. Yeah, I'm good. Dude, you're all right. right. That's all right. Like. Alton, you're up. <laughs> okay, you're so I know what I'm going to do. You have to tell me how many turns this is going to take. So I'm going to move up on this dude, grab him, pick him up, and use him as a meat shield. I mean, he's still alive. I know. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I'm I, I, that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm going to do. You tell yeah, me how uh, the rules work. I mean, sure. Uh, make, make it grapple check. Okay, grapple check. <laughs> oh, advantage. Advantage. I'm so raged. Ooh, not bad. Grapple check is just strength, right? 14. Are you raged? Intelligence. Uh, Intelligence, you're right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, 17. Okay, so I can now look at the occultist. So my hope is if she attack of opportunities me, I want to use him as a meat shield. I understand. You suck. Suck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so high. He, no, he, he has no skill. Yeah. So he has two, he has like two That's what I like. Uh, acrobatics, athletics, and not one of them. That means you beat me by one. Yes. Okay. I'm going to grab yeah, him. So he's like, pick him up. And you just like pick him up again. He's almost like an inch away from your actual arm. Yes. He's still like got your fist clenched as if you're holding him, but you're yeah. not actually touching this guy. Okay. So sweet. Flailing around, it's just not effective. Can I do anything else? Uh, that is your action. Okay, that's do fine. That. You've then got your movement. I've got my movement though. Yes. Can I just rush with this dude as a shield? Can I rush at the uh, at the chick and try to hit her? Uh, how, how does how does charging work? I, hang on, stand by. I <laughs> Sorry, I should have looked this up. I knew what I was gonna do in there. You have to move like ten feet and then. Make yeah, so that's fine. Right, so so my hope is up to her. that's fine. If I can get in her face, I'm hoping I can aggro an attack and just let this dude soak it for me. Go kill your friend here, dude. I'm just trying to not. All right, so you're like, oh! and you like charge. Her. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so high. Um, that's awesome. Eric, you're up. I am up. 
Poe in that group. Did we yeah, I know. Somebody is Taryn like? Uh, like Taryn is after you. Oh, okay. okay. Um, but Taryn's not down. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's yeah, cool. I'm up now. Forgot. Right, I got some, yeah, that's where I'm at. Also, um, you can go make another call if you want. I, I'll wait till the video starts. I haven't made anything. Oh, yeah. So, oh my gosh. Gosh. All right, what's it gonna be? Oh, first of all, I'm grappled. You are grappled. Yes, so you're right. Yep. Um, here's what I'm gonna do, my dude. So, your book. Boy is going to I summon my shade closest to <laughs> and I'm gonna teleport out of it. Yeah. Where do you summon it? Uh yeah, I want it to be let's see, it even be like right here. Yeah. Uh whatever you want to do. Just depends on what you want to do with your action afterwards. Yeah, I think I want to. Wait, is it a bonus action to summon it? So it's a bonus action to summon, and then it's half my movement to teleport. Okay, okay. And then I want to action. Man, I really want to grapple her. That's a tough task. I want to grapple her. I want to grapple her. That's what I'm All right. Do. Okay. That's still. Yeah, as you, you summon this shadow. You, next to her, and then you just kind of like the color like bleeds between the two of you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna make a grapple check. All right. A lot of athletics or whatever. Was he wanting to shove her? Yes. It's a contest between Dexter and So, but does it say if it's an action or anything to, to try to make uh, that? Or no, I'm sorry. He wanted to. He wanted to like charge, bash her, like. Like shield bash, the charge. Only, yeah, yeah. The only thing I see in here shoving your creature. I feel like like the charger feet might also be looking the feet. So it, it may be considered shoving. Mm -hmm. she, uh, to, okay, I, I did. Okay, guys. I did okay. What'd you I, get? I got a twenty-two. Yeah, I got a twenty-two. Yes, yeah, she doesn't have any. Yeah, she has no skills listed. It's definitely plus it's whatever strength is. So five, yeah. probably. I think you said she has strength. But she can also choose athletic or acrobatic. So dex, and she can choose dex. Yeah, she can do dex. That puts her to twenty-two. Okay. Cool. He tried to beat Stacy. No, oh, I did terrible. What'd you get? Nine. Wait, we got to roll again. I roll a four plus five. Uh, 14, 15. Ah, you son of a gun. That was a yeah, good so roll. So you're like, roll. Roll. Like, Wait, don't you have a plus five good. with Igni? What is that? Does not Igni give you a that, pizza? Yeah, those are for saving throws. That's probably pizza. Oh, sorry. So is she trying to, what is that? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's all built in. Uh, so she's like trying to run yeah, out, going and, on. and you like reach out, you grab, try to pull back, and then eventually she's able to slip out from underneath you. Ignum's turn. So I blow your mind. Uh, he's got a couple level one spells. Uh, gonna try smite, guys. No, 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 he's not. No, no, that's stupid. That's stupid. I forgot. I forgot. I almost made a classic blunder. I'm gonna wait till all of them's here. Uh, he will use the disengage action. He is almost there. Yeah, I'm keeping track of the rounds. Is it, was that not that one? It is, but I don't know it's already there. Oh. I got the round. Oh, you're keeping track. Right. Carmack. We got one. Make a charisma saving throw. You all right? Yeah, the, the charging feet. It specializes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 25. 25. Holy With this, you hear Safara almost yelling, but from a distance, Karnak! And she comes running up towards you. Uh, out of breath, you can see um, she's sweating at this point. 
Look. I can't I can't stay much longer. Yeah, you disappeared for a moment. I was I was worried, but I can tell that this is putting uh, a decent strain on you. It's very taxing, but you're very important. You're our only hope. Are the, when you say you're our only hope, does that mean there are others? She, she looks a bit disconcerted. I, I can't explain that right now. You, you've got to trust me. But I know that you can save me. You can bring me out of this. But you like, have to live. It's like, I trust you. Start going super saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't want to die, so not yet, anyways. She looks over her shoulder kind of rapidly and then looks back to you with worry in her eyes. I think they heard you. And we will go on to Taryn. It is your turn. All right, boys. I am going to summon my shadows. Um, so I summon two shadows that I control. It costs me. Uh, Sweet. Where do you I read the chart. Sweet. Where do they appear? They can appear within 60 feet of me. So I'm going to summon them on what's her face? Six arm cinep human centipede lady. Uh, yeah, boy is kind of running low though on uh, side points. Okay, anything else? I'm down. Yeah, I'm going to attack with them. Hit it. All right, they are going to use uh, I'm going to hit them with strength, her with strength strength drain, so it's a deep um, the first one's going to hit. Your ball? Uh, that would be a natural one. Okay. Second so one miss. is going to be a 23. Rolled real high on 23 that. 23 to hit. That hits. Okay. Um, this is some sort of a melee attack? It is a melee attack. Okay. So I deal 2d6 necrotic damage. Plus two. So that's seven, eight, nine. And then I reduce the target strength score by 1d4. Ooh. Nice, dude. That'll hold. So nine, nine damage. Yep. And then her strength score is reduced. I rolled a four. Nice. Her strength is reduced by four. That's dope. It's. Yeah, it says the target strength score is reduced by 1d4, and I rolled a 4. The target dies if it's reduced to strength of 0. Um, I mean, she has a plus 4 in strength, so I, I believe that drops it to a plus 2. Yeah. Her strength score, not her modifier, correct? Right. And then if I reduce her strength score all the way to 0, she dies. Nice, dude. Got, they don't have a lot of HP, so you'll probably smack them on the next one. Uh, yeah, it's her turn, so she's going to swipe towards you as you reach out and this... this. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay, yeah, hit it, hit it. <laughs> I, I'm going to move Taryn? my... Taryn. I am moving Taryn to be behind the rock completely now. Okay. <laughs> Get a meat shield. Don't I don't like that. Yes. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Tuck me in that little cove as tight as you can. <laughs> <laughs> can you smell what Karen's asking the manager? Okay, so <laughs> she vanished. 
What? She what? vanishes? What, what the crap? True <laughs> what Man. the crap, dude? She can teleport. Is that like a base ability or is that something special? Oh. No, she, she, are you kidding me? No, she's the manager and she wants to talk yeah. to Karen. <laughs> I'm the manager. She has line of sight to that square. So all of a sudden you hear, you feel the ground shake a little bit underneath your feet. And she looks towards you and she goes, where are you going? And that is her turn. Does she, yeah. It's her. Is she it? Yeah, she's up. Oh. Um, I was trying to see if I can't remember what my, what my FO is. I don't think rugs. You were up. All right. I gotta figure out how to dip, boys. Terrence is not built to be next to people. Disengage. <laughs> Yo, I don't understand. How is she talking if she's not here? I'm gonna do. Uh, what did I miss? Wait, me. can she move with a when signal? Didn't she have signal? Not, like gone? Okay. That's I thought right. you were saying she was gone. Wait, she so she was okay. <laughs> from your perspective, I got she got all uh, around I got attacking you. Attacking you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use Ray of Frost. Can we hear her over there? She does no, that. because she speaks telepathic. Ah. Yeah, of course she does. Uh does a 19 hit? 19 will not. Jeez. Really? Wait, wait, wait. It's uh uh, no, I think, hang on, I think she's going to block. Uh, yeah, this is Ray of Frost. Let me double check. It's a cheater. Yeah, I think only I'm pretty sure it's only, yeah, it's only one melee. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, 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 I'm sorry, you're good. So what, what was it, 19? Yeah, 19. Yeah, 19. Um, are you able to see her from your 60 feet? Yeah, you can see her. Can you... Yeah, I should be. You said my cloak was showing. Did you move out at all? She's much bigger than If you move out, of, mm -hmm. no, yeah, 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 if I need to move on. No, you can see her. As long as you can see a portion of where she is. Okay. Yeah, so it's uh, 1d8 full damage, and their speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of their next turn. She takes four full damage. Taryn, I wish you could teleport to you. That'd be so hilarious. I'm working on it. And I'm still rocking Becky as a. But I can't. <laughs> uh, see ya. Just keep wasting her turn. It's like, what's the more Like, goodbye. Goodbye. No, goodbye. 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 Absalom, you are up. Do we know where she went? Uh, no, make a perception. Uh, you can see her. Yeah, she's large. So you can see her because you're facing that direction anyway. Everybody else will have to make a perception check. Large and in charge. Turn around to her and swing dagger. And I swing and right right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to switch that. Main hand, I'm going I'm to switch hands real quick. I'm going to pull the rapier out of my main hand and stab it and rip the dagger off hand. Okay. Because that looks cool. So green is uh, rapier, dagger is black. Natural 20. Oh, oh nice. Big stick. Natural Does not hit. What's your total? Um, because screw you. 20, I don't know. I don't know if rapier, is it magical or anything? Uh, you do not get any benefits. Okay, benefits so just, it's just a rapier to you right now. 46. Yes. And hit. then the offhand is a 26. It was an 18 Both plus hits. two. Both nice. hits. Nice job. Cool. One of the main one is going to be my sneak attack. Of course, the one attack spell I do pick up is a trick. Of course. You don't know. She is. Oh, is she? So she is taking the damage. She takes some, um, just half. So she took two. Try not to game that. I won't. That's my only thing. You like attack and trip, I believe. Nice. Because I, I burned all my spells. Dude, I told you the dice are dang right, dude. Why have thunder clap? No one got to see you. Close. The other dice, so. No. Kind of weird. Yeah, I can remember that. Because unless you get close to me, the only other attack cantrip I have is thunder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Plus one. Yeah, like one, two, just get. Look good. Oh, 
30 damage on the dot. 30. Yeah. 30 damage. Wow. All right. Nice. So I, I imagine I run up. Magical I, I or non magical? Really... These are both magical weapons. So magical. Yeah. yeah. So the rapier, <laughs> so the rapier, I come up and just like kind of like, and you're really, I, I, I know they use one, but I've never really, I usually just hit the daggers. It's like, yeah. To the point. So like this, I just kind of like go up and I'm just, I imagine I'm just like, and then with the dagger, I can flourish and just straight, straight across. And with the rapier, as you strike, you feel this odd, almost like a magnetic pull from it. Very faint, but you feel it. You feel the blade pull a certain way as you make contact with her. You think it's like it, you note it as odd because you, you feel it almost twist in your hand, but it strikes true. And with this, she slumps a bit, and now you can see deep gouts of black blood oozing forth. Yeah. Alton, you're up. Okay. Uh, perception check. You did see, actually, I take that back. You saw where uh, Absalom ran, so you make of oh. that what. Oh, Adam, I forgot how criticals were. And 33. 33 total? Yeah, 33 total. Yeah, all done. Oh, yeah. Which one is Absalom's character? Is this um, he's the like the little ninja guy by the green dot, the halfling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to grab my dude and run in that direction. Okay, have speed, follow Absalom. That's but fine. you can make it. Yep. If you just want to move yourself, or if you're able to, I can try as well. Fingers crossed. No. Yeah. What is it? Oh. No, you're really far away now. Oh, yeah, yeah, no big deal. There we go. You have to double move. No, make it. Um, so, so I would like to use my attack to hit this chick. Just with like just carry chip. So you just body or sprint and take a little bit of a corner, slam into it. So go ahead and make a, what did we <laughs> say that was? It was a dex for strength. Contest? Yeah, so yeah, it's a straight yeah, contest. so for you it's, it's athletics. Uh, advantage. You hear? Oh, no, no, no! Heck yes! I'll be a twenty-two. 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 Ooh, and with a diminished strength, that's gonna be an eight. Yeah, boys! <laughs> As you slam into her, and you. Uh, oh, did it say use, what kind of damage is? It didn't say it did damage. It said it okay. Did no, you said she could use strength for that. Yeah, I think it's charge right. attack. Uh, yeah, it, it just didn't, didn't matter. I, I charge attack it. either knocks her prone or pushes her back five feet, yeah. or maybe both. Okay. Um, I, I'll i allow you to make right. it just like, um, we'll just say just you do your strength uh, plus 1d4 damage against her, and also this other guy. That's fine. <laughs> so it's four? Four total well, damage. Wait, am I allowed to use my intelligence because I'm raging? Yes. Sweet. Uh, so that's seven. Yeah, any time I say that, that's that's what I actually Sweet. Do. Seven against both. Seven damage. So you hear, and you see his blood just like squirt all over her body. Um, and she moves a bit. Does she no reaction to cut this dude apart? No. Um, yeah, no, she doesn't. Fine. Yeah. Next time. Probably next Eric. time. Uh, Eric, you're up. She's not from. Not from. Dang okay. it. All right, I'm going to run around there and uh, I'm going to tell both Alton and Yay Taren. I would have voted this action hiding in the boat. And I'm going to. 13. Am I allowed to ask why? Yeah, I'm going to blow her up. Okay. Glad yeah. to force be with you. I actually, at that, you know, like, okay. You're like, what the crap's the force? <laughs> <laughs> I actually you say, uh, fight for glory, die drawn. 
to be cryptic, but okay. <laughs> Oh, I use, uh, I am also going to summon. Okay. Um, you summon um, one when he's already there? How's that work? Uh, yeah, I can. He just, like, the other one just, like, it just basically fades. It may, in effect, it's going to cost my, uh, yeah, that's right. Wherever she's at, I want to grab onto it. And next year. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. Yo. All right. What are you going to try to do? Uh, I want to grapple. Grapple. Hit it. Do it. Uh, he wants to hide. I do have a question. He's got, uh, he's yeah, got so that lower strength saying. score. Is there a... Yeah, she can use deck stuff. Um, can you get advantage on that? Is that a thing? Advantage on a grapple? I mean, yeah, in all the ways you can get advantage on something. You don't have it now. But yeah, I mean, you could get it. You should get banned for perfect flank. All, all times. She's six arms. She's watching you with all of her, all her arms. Right? We're holding all six arms. She's got an eye on the back of each hand. <laughs> no, I rolled a 17 on the dice. That's going to be a 23. Oof. Uh, so similar situation where she's just able to slide out. As now she's her skills have become kind of slick with blood. Um, I love that. Ignum. Oh. Moves five feet. Yeah, I'm just going to work with the new, like, check. What are you talking about? I gotta talk about doing the critical role like style. What do they do? It? Like they've got to do like checks. Oh, to the vibe. So yeah. <laughs> he's not quite. He's not a rest. We're on turn five. But we also don't have a rest. No. She pulls out two large diamonds as he flips over Carmack's body, and he places them over the eyes. And he begins to wait. Where's wait? Where's Car what? How did Carmack get over there? Um, Absalom drug him there. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed that. I yeah. took a dump earlier, so that's probably what happened. <laughs> the scales kept catching him. And he begins to cast a spell. Oh, can he do that after we're done? We really kind of need his blows. Ooh. Ooh. I think he has so many rounds that Carmack is done for. Right. There's a minute, 10 rounds. As the diamonds shatter, the dust floats through the air. Carmack's lungs expand, pulling the diamond dust in. You are back to one hit point, and Ignim is unconscious. <gasps> eh. Me, dude. I mean, I mean, help him. Oh, you're still back. Carmack, as it's now your turn, you hear Safara say, it worked. I think they worked. But listen, you have to be careful now. They know you exist, and they know that you're helping me. They may come for you. She may come for you. And then your eyes burst open, and you were once again in the cape you have this aching pain that goes all the way through your back into your stomach but you are alive hallelujah <laughs> this is a mega when i was when i when i was grabbing my stuff did i find the crystal on that lady the one i'm looking oh. for no, you did not. I'm super curious about that because that's, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Carmack, it's your turn. Totally. To help you guys. <laughs> totally. <fine>. So <laughs> it's my turn. Yeah. You got potions? I'm out. I already I already drank them. 
Alex has one. I've got two. I have three. Um, I feel like that's <laughs> So basically, I'm at one hit point. I'm laying on the ground. Ingdom's laying on the ground next to me. Yes. Uh, you do notice that he is breathing. Um, I didn't know if he started making death saves right away. I was like, dang. No. Um, yeah, you guys don't have to worry about this as none of you guys are healers or something, but big spells. I, this is a, another table rule. Big spells like that can will either tax the players or, or the caster. Maybe both, depending. Like if you go for like a true resurrection, it's probably Remember we talked about doing something like that yeah. before, because he was kind of like, like a constitution. Yep. Yeah, like he, okay. he was like, yeah, um, so he was unconscious, but stable. So that's like a nine. Level. Yeah. I take a quick look around um, to see if there's like any impending threat. And. Yeah, and you can kind of hear the sound of combat, but it is, you know, not really close to you as you're very much just kind of like waking up out of a daze. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I get up. I, I go ahead and try and stand up anyways. Um, okay. You are able to. And Right now, I'm basically thinking I want to keep myself out of danger, and so I'm looking for a potential place to kind of like hide. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll say that you just move up into cover here. Okay. Just kind of closer to the yeah. Yeah. And then I like keep my eye on Ingdom just to like make sure that he's not like in the process of dying. So. Okay. Karen. Um, oh, sorry. I'm I know. Sorry. While I'm here, I go ahead and take like a defensive position just in case anything comes my way that. Understood. Right. Now, Terry. Uh, sorry, I was muted. How hurt does she look? Oops. She's seen better days, but she's still fighting. I got a dip, boys. Uh, okay. Yeah, you see Eric Cormack. Eric trying to grapple. Did he, uh, it wasn't successful to grapple? Doesn't look like it. Okay. He's still trying, gonna... still trying to hold on, but she's just kind of like twisting in his grasp. Okay. Um, all right. I, I'm going to try and make her forget me again. Okay. So it's a wisdom saving throw. I'll be my second national point of the night. I believe I'm this both, both against the same freaking spell. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's it for me on that turn. I'm going, I've got my shadows though, and they're going to move over. Can they get there to her? 40, they have 40 feet of movement. So uh, one of them can get, um, no, they can squeeze into tight spaces, right? Yeah. Yeah, anything bigger, anything the size of an inch. Sure. 
dog pile. Over there. Do you move it all, Taryn? Pretty much. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm gonna do the drain again. Okay. Uh, oh, I gotta roll for. Uh, let's see. Twenty-one. No, twenty. Not bad. Does a, a twenty? 20? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. She flexed it with one of her swords. No. Okay. Uh, the other one misses too. Um, okay, that's it. Do you move? Uh, I mean, if she gets on an attack of opportunity on me, I'm dead. Have you just I mean, I guess. I will say this. She gets one reaction every turn. She just, just took one to parry. She oh, that it. was a parry. Oh, I thought it missed. My second attack was a 19. Yeah, but your first one was a 20. Her AC is 18, so she had to parry to block it. I know. I said the second one missed because I thought the 20. I didn't realize it was a parry. So my second creature hit. It rolled a 19. I rolled. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I thought it was a miss. Yeah, no, it's just one attack. Yeah, it's just one okay. attack. Yeah, block. so, okay, okay, okay. I just thought I, the AC was, her AC was too high. Uh, uh, seven, uh, eight, nine damage, plus minus three on the strength. Woo! And I am dipping. Is she feeling like a garden snake? Yeah, I'm like, run, Taryn, now. <clears throat> Alton. Uh, how, I want to get as, far away as possible is that okay can i ask a question can i run around the back side of this rock so it looks like that's where i'm running and then run over to the other rock and maybe try and trick her to think she i'm on the wrong other side of a rock i don't know how many i can't see the squares huh make a stealth check let's go seven <laughs> yep, and boy, that my boy didn't get so sweet. We did, he got out. Like, yeah, sauce McGee. I have to, guys. I'm not built for built for battle. You built to be dip right, sauce cool, McGee. Cool, 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 cool. cool. It's her turn. She teleports. Right next to her. <laughs> Taryn, make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Hey, oh, that's actually, that's good for me. That's good for me. I think I actually pretty good. Oh, I dropped my dice. Sorry, I gotta re roll a different one. You know what? I need the good one. Where's where's the wormwood? All right. Oh, uh, uh, wisdom or uh, what am I making again? Yeah, wisdom. Wisdom. Uh, not good. Uh, thirteen. Not With good. a 13, you begin to hear laughing in your okay. mind. And you hear her voice, Taryn. Absalom. Oh, boy. Alton. Oh, no. Rocks. Does she say Eric. Oh, does she say I mean, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Okay. She's digging through his mind. And then she goes, <clears throat> I know your names. Kitunas. I will remember. And I'll see you again. And she is going to attack around her. <gasps> no. Oh. Uh... 
Uh, it's going to be 24 against the shade. Poof is gone. Rip. Sentinel. Right oh, now. yeah. Heck yeah. Sentinel. Double Sentinel. I shake up the other one. I, I rolled that one, but I was like, that's eh, not my dagger. So, not good. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay. <clears throat> I rolled the same the one I was going to really Okay, roll. Eric. <laughs> like, I'm like this. I'm like, yeah, 22 six, versus AC. That's a hit. Um, Wait, did I say the rapier was in my hand? Yeah. yeah. It's up to you. I said the green one was the rapier. I rolled it first, but then I was like, oh, wait, but I, I, but I, I was going like, well, this is my dagger. What have, what have you said? Uh, huh? you, you go with what you said. You, 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 you just, you just play honest. I don't know what you said, but you play honest. So, uh, so you can only make opportunities with your main combat. Yeah, so okay. 22. That's a hit. Okay. Go ahead and wait again. Something, I don't know. 17 plus 8. No, 6. What, 23? Yeah, 23. 23 hits. Okay. Uh, she does make an attack against you, Eric. You take 13 slashing damage. Dang, boy. That's actually pretty good. 19 damage. 19 damage. Yeah. That's really good. You cleave one of her arms off. Oh! With a rape here. Makes sense. It's just brutal. <laughs> so, in my mind, rape is basically like a, just like a like thin a, long sword. Like, like, it's not like the whole blade yeah, thing. I, it's, uh, I think it's more of like a cut. A cut. Okay. okay. That's, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Okay, me too. Yeah. I like, like that so much. Fencing more. sword? No thanks. I just like I always no, 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 no. I hit her but 20 I times. I imagine it was a really large fast stone. bust the arm. Yeah, you perforate the arm with the shoulder. Uh, <laughs> Which I can also see that too. Like, it's like a stone needle. It depends on like, what your thoughts uh, are. Nice one there. I feel like uh, you're playing a pirate. You want to have a good So Shade's yeah. gone. Eric yeah. takes 13. Um, nice with that, nice. when an arm drops, she turns towards you. Uh, 27 versus AC, 13 damage. I'm unconscious. Down you go. Uh, she's swinging wildly. You see these gouts of blood just pouring from her. Eric, what is she rolling? What is that? What is she rolling? see 27. I roll that's a one, one. yeah. <laughs> and Alton, oh no, uh, 26. It's a boy, yeah. She cuts him in half. Um, with, <laughs> so, yeah, so with that, she's still because she's got big blades. So you're still gonna. We'll say that you take half damage as she just bisects this guy like he's nothing. Okay. Half of half. You're gonna take. I'll call it. I don't know. Let's have half. Thirteen. Quarter. Um, quarter damage. Seven. Oh, shut up. Uh, you take four. You take four, four slashing damage. Okay. okay. And she would have a six sword attack, but she ain't got no sword. So with that, she's going Sake. to. Um, she's gonna try to. Uh, here's a pen. Oh, your pencil's back here, man. Oh, sweet. She said four damage. With this, you're the one that cut her arm off. So she is going to. I'm still stuck on the end of one of her swords. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you guys see her just pick him up in the coil of her tail, wrap him like anaconda style, just wrap him full and squeeze as tight as she can. You fail two death saving throws. No. Did you guys just see me blow out the candles on my cake, or were you too busy watching someone else die? No, we don't yeah, care about it. It's not it's dead. dead. But hey, Mike McCarthy, <laughs> mostly right? dead. Since I blew uh, out drugs, candles, right? can I make a wish? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Birthday wish. Birthday wish. I meant like in game. Yeah. Wish the spell. Birthday wish. What up, Queenie? Dude, you can wish, right. you can pray, whatever you want. <laughs> All right. Keep going, boys. There's no way for me to squeeze in there to try to deal with melee, is there? I just don't know that you can fit. Yeah, yeah, there, there, yeah there's no way that you can fit in there. I got spray of frost again. All right. And that's a swirl. 12 total? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. It it hits guys, and kind of like courses up her give me a up her back, here. but it fails to succeed. Let me see if I go for it. Um, Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Would you get so stressful? Absalom. Is it twenty? Okay, Sorry. I'm going for it. I'm leaving. 
Roll my death. Save. Yeah, I'm going. Did you? Did you? Uh, any bonus action or or movement? Orange yeah, and blue. Right that was nice. Okay. It's, not it's not my turn. It's kind of lit. It is now. Like, At the end of Rog's turn. It'll, 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 it'll settle on, but it, like it doesn't you come sure? all the way out. We've got like at least an hour left. Yeah. Um, Do it. Put it on the dice. Roll. There's Rog's going. I'm oh, hang on. trying Whoa. to figure out what I want to do here. You want to come He's got a bonus him? and a move. Uh, I want to move over towards um, Ignum. Okay. Full movement. The all on the dice right here? Is 30. I mean, I have to pick my face and do it. All right. Get there. 5, 10, 15, 20, That's 5, awesome. 30. That'd be incredible. It's about that time. For it to be it. incredible, man. <laughs> I'm going to use bonus action. I'm in a so okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. Real quick, does anyone have inspiration at all? No. Is anybody inspiration? No, I burnt my last two. I think I got inspiration from something. Somebody said some stupid joke about me, so I've got inspiration. I got <laughs> You <know>. disadvantage. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, here it is. Um, is he next or? turn, okay. I'm gonna, if he's not up, I'm going to burn my healing potion to get him up. Okay, I will say this. If anybody comments in either Twitch or Facebook in the next 10 seconds, we'll grant inspiration. I don't think anybody's in the chat. Wait, wait. You, you, like, anybody that's not on the team. No. You have a 10 second delay. Wait. Hey. Yeah. Wait a minute. We just, <laughs> wait. Is, nobody hears Devin Martinez, are they? But. Whoa. I was going to say, Devin yo, Devin, Martinez you boy. Yeah. Oh, boy, Devin Dude. pulling through. Yo, Devin, <laughs> you have, Devin, you have out of Manchester? No. I'm no. Boy. Devin, I've no I just saw this comment. It doesn't have a timestamp on it, so I have to assume that it just happened. That said, <laughs> you just <laughs> gave inspiration to Absalom for his <laughs> final death saving throw. I cannot even believe that. <laughs> you want, you this guy's want, player of the game, by the way. Want, yeah. Right? <laughs> What are the odds of that happening? MVP. What are you saying? Right that was some hype right there. Commenting about it because I hit her 22 oh. times in the shoulder. <laughs> so wait, can I um? What are the odds of this game? What did he say? He said I hit her 22 times in the shoulder. Oh. Yeah. Talking about your preparation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. One down both. Rest in peace, Apple. Okay, so I'm gonna roll the one. Is that can I use my inspiration after or I have to use it right now? Uh, back, right? We've always done all that. Sure. Yeah, I'll allow that. Oh, yes. 17. Success. You continue. Okay, so also, uh, real quick. I'm so, Alt and I also have a sidebar. Yeah. That I needs to be talked about. Uh, you guys I, are like t in the middle of this. You guys are like, hey, what are you going to do after this? <laughs> no, I was like, you have to get him out now. You have to leave. And he was like, give me a persuasion check. Mm. I rolled a natch one. Mm. And he was like, waste. I did. Deuces. <laughs> Live and let die. <clears throat> all right. I think Alton's up, right? That said, it is Alton's turn. Oh, you can't yeah. Believe it. oh That's yeah. That's a comment. Thing. Okay. So we had a little interaction. Mm -hmm. Eric looked at me and was like, get out. And I wasn't going to. He said it a couple times. But then he just looked at me. How'd you say it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. <laughs> no, okay. no fear. All sincerity. Yeah, all just like compassion. Yeah, it would be like I just don't want you. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna dip. I'm gone. Full speed. All right. She swings at you. That's fine. Unless you disengage as an action. Real quick. No, uh, you you said round. Yeah. Real around. quick. Real quick. Yeah. I have a question. So she's attacking him, and not me. Correct. Can I attempt to instead of hitting her? Like knock her blade, like instead of can I go um, instead of for damage? Can I go for, like, for disadvantage? Or have you already used your reaction though? Uh, not in this turn, I don't believe. No, uh, I think you did. No, we did. Yeah, yeah. no, we went no, down. no. Yeah, because my you go before her. No, my shadow. Did. Your shadow did. Okay, all right. So yeah, you just want to try to you want to give her disadvantage essentially. Yeah. Okay. Do you okay. Do I, I need to? Uh, yeah, make it. Yeah, make an attack. If you beat her AC, I'll allow it. Uh, twenty-one. I roll a one. Oh, so yeah, she swings out and with a great sword, you, and you're able to knock her sword wide. All right, I'm gone. All right, four out. Do you get? Do you get? Oh boy! Oh boy, who? Absalom, you need me? I'm in the snake. Yeah, he's in the snake field. That's dead. what I'm saying. Get him and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so you're going to try to break him free? Make yep. strength check. Opposing strength. Damn, she like yeah, you're right. strength right? yeah, yeah, yeah. She's swung at you. You're raging. Which, by the way, will lessen the DC for this to escape anyway. Not to the you. You're dead. You're, you're almost dead. 12. 12. Like I rolled an 11. Did you have an advantage? You have and advantage. typically she has a plus four. Oh. She currently has a minus one. Oh! Geez. So yeah, you grab him and you just pull yeah. him out. Let's go, boy! Losing his own blood and everything. You rage dash. Uh. Uh, get yeah, out here. La, la, la. Yeah, you Wait, still, I feel like all the style would be more than I like pull you out of its tail and then I punt you to the exit and then I run. And, and then I die. And so, <laughs> you were saved brutally. <laughs> Not just now. No For the boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, get your laughs in. Somebody's going to die. Um, <laughs> never that was that was Eric. Uh, no, it's actually it's Eric's turn. Eric's, Eric's turn. turn, okay. So, move wherever you're moving. You can still move, right? Yeah, he they're they're at the door. Yeah, they're oh, at the entrance. Okay. Oh, you guys are already over. Yeah, okay. So, who's laying? Who's laying next? To uh, that's like a shadow. Oh, it's one, it's one of the shades. I just didn't bother setting up here. Oh, oh Dude, I don't even know if Devin's still here. I don't think he even realized how impactful this is. You might want some stadium peanuts. You're not like a looking um, for peanuts, are you? Okay, like I'm sitting right next to you for peanuts. Sure. <laughs> peanuts? Those are circus peanuts. I don't think I don't think he has circus peanuts. <laughs> Eric, what's it gonna be? I'm trying to. I'm trying Eric, to... what are you gonna do? I'm telling you. <laughs> you getting some peanuts? What are you doing? Eric's backstage right now. I'm just trying to like. Touch my gun. <laughs> Time to turn. Okay, so Facebook uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. So if we ever mentioned the word support of Trump, now we're back. Oh, Facebook. yeah, gone. <laughs> right. Thank you. So I want to bonus action and put my shade there, my okay. shadow. Blip, blip. And then I can free action. This is no action at all. To so move him right here. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to know that I can do that. Okay. I, uh, I haven't had these in a while. Okay, uh, yeah. All right. Michael. I'm sorry. I built that out of cardboard and desperation. <laughs> My set wall is coming down. <laughs> I'm coming up. Did you get it? Hey, by the way, I definitely requested that somebody other than me build those. That is true. Right? He did say that. Actually. Over and over again. Okay. I am not the construction guy. Um. I want to take out the wand. Okay. And oh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we'll see if you can burn. And her head snaps back to you. And I want to take it and I want to just like drive it into her chest and snap it off. Ooh. All right, make an attack roll. No way. No way. Just that 20. That 20. Ooh, natural 20. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing else. All right, nothing else. <laughs> Let's see if you can burn. It detonates. I would like to, I know this is still going to happen. I want to, in that moment, switch places with my Echo. If that's an option. Like if it's not. Like a reaction. It's at your speed. It's at my speed. All right, you say, let's see if you can burn. As the color leaves your form, the shade takes a place as she lunges forward. Icker explodes, detonates around the room. There's a deafening crack, some rubble from the ceiling cave comes down. 
And as the dust clears, Eric, you are safely on the other side of the wall. I actually am going to like slump back on it and just like cruise mission. Yep. You succeed. That is the end of combat. Way to go, yes. guys. Wow. Oh, Bravo. Bravo. Man. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. As a DM, I can tell you I was really stressed out about that. I was afraid I pushed it a little bit too far. And no, solid. Wow. Not even I burned all my spell slots. <laughs> Goodness. Well, I mean, that was dead. So, I mean. Carmack died. Dead, down, down. And that was from the thing I, I didn't. Like, I, I just thought you guys would you see you that. Frogs was down. I didn't actually think that you guys yeah. would encounter the Baylor. Yeah. yeah. But if anybody was going to go down to a Lord of the Rings style death, it had to be. It had to be land. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, <laughs> that is. That's awesome. Oh. All right, guys. Turn on my blood pressure. Okay. Uh, is Ingram like hurt? Or... Ignum is unconscious, but he's breathing. He, he I'm was a... not unconscious by the weight of his own like, spell. Like stable. I'm going to go over to him and use healing hand. I'm going to give Carmack my... Let's Just oh, as well, a side can... note, when Taryn comes around, oh, he's going to be uh, like... Lance, you lost your audio. Oh. <laughs> no! I can you hear me? Uh... No, I can, can hear see you. you talking, but now it's coming through. Did the speaker die? I can, I can Justin, hear Justin, try way. to say something. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. hello. No, I, can hear you I can I can hear Lance. Uh, oh, I can hear oh, yeah, I can hear oh, you now. Lance. There you are. Oh, okay. And we're no, I was gonna say, as he comes around, I'm basically nomming on some bread and drinking out of my water skin, and I'm just like sitting by Ingham. Or, uh, but yeah, go ahead. And do oh yeah, you got do it. What no, you're doing. you got it. No, if you got it, go for it. No, like I don't, I don't have any healing. I'm oh. just like watching him to make sure that he doesn't die. Uh, so I guess this is a I question for Adam. Yeah, yeah. just. I like. don't remember what we landed yeah. on with this, but do I know what I am yet? Yeah, you know, you're like racially speaking. Has he come out yes. of the closet yet? Yes, you do know. You okay. just do not then, know where you came from. Okay, then I'm gonna use healing hand. Okay, and I can I can give him as much as my level, so I give him four points of healing. Okay, and so he comes to to who? Ignum. Ignum. Well, I was giving my one lesser healing potion to Carmack. Okay. He said a lesser healing potion. Yeah. All right. I will go ahead and drink that. I believe. Thanks, Frox. Right. Oh, you. I smell a uh, <laughs> sense of disturbance in the matter. Right. Is, uh, well, is Ignum like awake? Is Ignum yes, awake? he wakes up. I'm going to look at Ignum and say, Ignum. Oh, you're still unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Wake oh, up, you oh, stupid oh. mother. And I'm going to like tap your face and I'm going to pull out my hand. Wait, question. who's unconscious? Pinched the nose. Uh, Absalom, Absalom was. Absalom. I'm gonna. Yeah, ask, as just gave him. Roll it. Roll it. I want to give me a treasure. Nice. Dang. Okay. As <laughs> Ignum <laughs> comes back to life, I'm gonna like lean over and say, "Ignum, welcome to the skeleton crew. You passed." <laughs> just barely uh, yeah and he will he will smile through like um you know beaten and bloody he was he was pretty injured well done well done all right did she die from that mic okay uh party. i'm just uh it's like leaning up against the. Let's uh, crack open a loop in yacht, boys. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, beat you with a around. stick. Actually, well, uh, a, a, uh, Yo, hey. It's a, gold, what up? it's a gold and silver like glass. It's not very big. I mean, it'll probably hold like 12 ounces. 
It's got like a bunch of dwarven like stuff like stuff on it. I'm just gonna crack it open. It's my it's the last of my my uh, blue grasses. Ab Absalom, as you as why, you why is my video spotlighted? Oops, <laughs> my bad. What oh, is no, it? Did it like explode? No. Uh, what happened? Yeah, the, the stream's like all over the no! place. <laughs> no, no, no. And then, you're the freaking no! worst, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Is it back? Uh, no, like... no, it's spotlighted on Josh. It's not, nobody's spotlighted. Oh, okay, okay. It just oh, was crap. my thing. All right, we're good. Back. I gotta go, like, undo the... Reset. Yeah, no, because it changes the view. <laughs> oh, okay. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, oh, I'll, I'll, no. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. You guys are you guys are in the process of uh, looting. <laughs> you guys... Real quick. Um, do I know my player? Do I have any social media? Uh, make an intelligence <laughs> check. Adam, Dude. can I look for a specific piece of loot since I know the magic store got robbed? Yeah. Stand by one. Ooh, What's bad. that? Yeah, stand by one second. Intelligence. Okay. Any, any specific one? No, just, uh, just intelligence. straight intelligence. Yeah. 17. You know. Okay. So as you're not sure what it means in this context, but you know what you know, it means. I can make the connection. Like, you make the is, connection. This yeah. is this. That's what that means. Okay. okay, so as you wake as I wake up, I'm like, I found a clue. I'll turn. I, and I pull, I, I pull out the butterfly and I'm like, I think this all has something to do with Project Chrysalis and the Doctor. The butterfly? It came out of the crystal and the demon pulled in. I don't, I don't understand. I think the Doctor's absorbing the demon's powers, maybe, or someone is. So he's, do, he's helping them. Wait. I'm confused. That's only a, that's just a guess. Why would he need why would he need an army to fight for him if he was absorbing demons? Unless he's using the demons to uh, well, maybe it's a something I, this is, that's just an assumption. It's just a clue. It's just a guess. But I okay. do know this came out of the crystal and the demon went in, and it very well could have something to do with the project. Yes, yeah, I think you're right. I guess uh, hold on to it. Uh, jeez, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna pull out a uh, butterfly net out of my adventuring pack. It's it's in a it's in a jar. I'm just gonna squish it. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> I don't have a butterfly net. This seems important. I mean, you're a monk. Monks are very very well. Butterfly net. So. Okay, so uh, what's the next move? What do we do from here? Search this cave for clues. Go look at the crystal, maybe. Uh, yeah. We still need to find the crystal fragment from the first cave. Yeah. Maybe. What do you think the odds are uh, of it opening up again? Opening up again? Yeah. Something coming back out. No. I don't quite think I'm prepared for that's, that. That's so much. That's magic. <sighs> um, I'll be honest. I think we need to uh, set up camp or something before we try to do anything too risky. I want to. Yeah, I would. I, wanna, uh, I would like to vote to not sleep in the demon cult cave. Yeah, probably a good idea. Let's do all the check. All, right. Carmack, all in favor? I, say I look at Taryn and I'm like, wait. I I mean, this is some pretty sweet digs, man. <laughs> Carmack. <laughs> Carmack, I know that you're used to cult caves. I'll say that. Uh, I'm gonna head towards the crystal. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. Let's make camp before we go back in. I don't feel good about this. And then I think about the crystal, and I'm like, you know, if any more portals open up around that thing, it's it's probably bad news for us. So, yeah, let, let's hey, not camp smart, here. Right? I'm still going to school. Huh? I'm not. Yeah. All right. Peace out to uh, Absalom. Goodbye, Abby. It's been good knowing you. It's like, yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit... Uh, Worn out from that, guys. I do want something specific. Yeah. It's a, I don't. I don't know that the crystals are dangerous, though. I don't think it is. That's awesome. 
Yeah, thank you. So, no, but uh, if not, it might have been part of the cause of the portal that opened. Well, the two times we've encountered these crystals, they've actually been protective. I think people are opening the portals, but the crystals might be stopping what's coming through. Just like when we were argued a fought with the cobalt wizards, the crystal was protecting the them from what was downstairs. This one sucked well, up the Baylor. I think they're up. They summoned it in front of the crystal for a reason. So I think they're taking its power. Because that thing was strong. Strong or maybe they were just idiots. Oh, That's also fair. Yeah. Like so, what if they didn't mean to summon Baylor? Uh, that's a what if the portal was open because they summoned the six arm lady, but they couldn't get it closed that's fast correct. enough? The Baylor came through. I give you a drink of my bleak red whiskey. How much is left of it? Uh, probably 12 ounces. I'm going to chug it. You pass out. <laughs> yeah, make a concept. Make a make concept. You're going to get hurt. Nat 20. He's fine. Oh! <laughs> I just go back. Yeah, I don't make it. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go Bro. That old boy. Your voice just got deeper. You do feel like a little bit of a tingling in your head. A little. Feel it? I've made worse than this back in my truth. Yeah. Feel it though, the tingling? That's okay. That's good. There. That fight okay. was tough. It was. Adam, can I try and piece something together? Sure. I'm not going to do it. I want to know that happens. if that's all I care about. The Baylor was an accidental byproduct of summoning the six armed lady. So you, uh, yeah, in your discussions, as you guys kind of discussed this, um, Alton, if you, unless you don't want to share what you heard from the guy, the, the guy that you were kind of interrogating in the middle of the combat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I grabbed one of the blokes. He said that uh, they're trying to destroy the world, something stupid like that. I asked him why, what he stood the game for it. He said he had nothing to lose. Uh, he didn't give me much of a reason beyond that. It's not much of a reason on its own, I suppose. Can I go, uh, north side, can I go loot north and then tell? I want to see if he has the crystal. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to say we kind of loot like all together. Okay. So yeah. I'll, I'll just kind of sum that up. Specifically looking for the, the crystal. Guy. I understand. Yeah. I don't know, some kind of apocalypse, but uh, they was crazy as uh, jaybirds. You know what I mean? Yeah, so in sharing, in sharing the information that you have, you do come to the conclusion that he knew about the Merolith and they were trying to summon something else, something that would bring about the end of the world, they thought. This greater veil. Does this sound similar to what my discovery has to do with? Um, no. no. Nothing with the Baylor or nothing like that. Doesn't, doesn't ring true. Okay. Absolutely, just like a, a guess that they're trying to it's like, why would they summon that in front of it? What did they do on purpose? Ignum. What do you know of demons? Unfortunately, I have had to interact with them several times in my life. One of the times I interacted with, what's it called, a Merilith? Merilith, yeah. yeah but you, you don't know the name. Yeah, the creature, the demon that we were fighting, she she pried into my mind. She pulled out the names of of all of us. She said that this wasn't the end, that she would be back. Is that possible if we killed her? Many creatures from other realms are tied, are anchored. And you see his, you see a bit of recognition when he says that to their home world. And they can only truly be destroyed there. And he turns towards the um, 
the summoning and actually begins to move towards the large crystal. But to answer your question, she will yet live. These crystals. Have you seen them and before? He begins to walk. He walks up towards this large crystal in the back. Is that a good idea, Zygmunt? I do not know. Absolutely, just going to stay next to him. Just have a good guy. This is the second time we've encountered these crystals. This one is much larger, and it, and, and it does look quite a bit different, although oh, similar okay. in some respects. Um, in some respects to the to the other one. In fact, make an arcana check or an investigation check. Well, investigation. For sure. Uh, not bad, 19. A 19. So the original crystal that you had looked more natural, not native to anywhere that you've been or seen, but it looked like a rough cut diamond, basically. This gotcha. looks slightly more manufactured. Okay. A little bit cleaner edges, a little bit more intent in the design. Okay. Those are all. I'm gonna hold a second. Um, she's still in that shadow blade just don't water. Um, I go, uh, Dr. Rebels and Christian, they're with us. Should we try to remove it or destroy it? Or? Let me get a closer look and go ahead and make an investigation or an arcana check with, with Becky. Advantage on that? Or? Uh, no, no advantage. That's a 21. 21. After a moment, she goes, Rogs, there's, there's something about this. This is like that other siphon crystal, but it's not just drawing power into it. It sent it somewhere. Well, that's not good. No, I don't think it is. I think this is just one half. Oh, no. It's not good. But I don't think they were expecting it to do this. Okay. Is that all? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you now. Um, Becky related to me that there's two sides to this crystal. She doesn't think it got absorbed but sent somewhere else. Okay. Was with the butterfly. Still sitting where I was. No, but it's like a trans. Doing my best. You have to, to send something short. through to get something sent. And Eric, okay. as you sit here, you Just can't place it, but you almost okay. feel like you should have someone next to you. There's a vacant spot in your memory. But you can't place it, but you can almost <laughs> remember sitting like this after many fights. You even find yourself occasionally with your with your drink almost sharing it and then realizing there's no one there. Do I see him do this? Okay. Do I saw my third eye? Uh, we'll say no because he's back up against that corner and you guys have all moved up towards the crystal. Oh, okay. so he's just kind of there by himself. Okay, anybody else? Anything Dude, else? Do I still have that third eye? Uh, how long does it last? A minute. It's gone. Oh. <clears throat> I go find Eric and show him the shadow blade and what I did to Becky. Okay, so Becky. What color is this? Did you begin to take a closer look at the rapier? Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, I also I misspoke beforehand. It has three diamonds set into the handle, two of which are cracked, one of which is flawless. It's finely crafted, gold and emerald on the handle. Can I, you have this like out? I know, but I'm, I'm standing next to okay. it. You're worried. You're worried. Oh, yeah. I was standing are, next we, are we looting right now? We'll say, we'll say that, yeah, I mean, as you get, unless there's something specific that you want to do, we'll say that you guys are kind of gathering up 
Can I look for a specific item that I remember being in the magic shop? Sure. The robe of eyes, many eyes or whatever. Robe of many eyes. Um, you do not find it. But as, as you guys are searching, you do find several things. You find a milky white liquid that has a strong Gross. alcohol smell, burns your nose as you smell. Um, you come across a dull emerald colored sphere that makes a bit of a sloshing sound. Is anybody this? I've got them. I am. Uh, I'm not going to show you the cards yet until you guys identify this or not. Uh, it makes a bit of a sloshing sound as you move it. Um, you find a wand of dispel. You, you guys are familiar with that. You find these small silver colored spectacles with crystal, like crystalline and almost like, uh, again, like the edge of a diamond, kind of that multifaceted edging crystal um, lenses. And then you find, um, let me find my notebook. I believe you find eight minor healing potions, two greater. And as you pour through some of these chests, you, that's the wrong book, come across. Is this the wrong book? Has this taken in like an hour? Thereabouts? We will say that it's, yeah, closing in on an hour as you guys burn through. And Absalom, as you have gone through this, something about this blade in your hand is good. It feels really good. <laughs> yes. So you're oh, that's yeah. Okay. yeah. You cannot place it, but over the course. What oh the nuts, zombie? That makes she's, yeah, she's that was, got offended that you were struggling that was, with dagger. That was full blown ghost stuff. I just yeah. had something fall off the wall that's been hanging up for three years, three months. Like, yeah, about three months. Okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, you find 11,000 gold. Like, how good? Like, legendary good? Oh. Uh, every yes. No! By the way, I do want to point this out because Just I think this. Mike probably already knows what this is. I do too. This core has one. Yeah. I rolled randomly for all of this crap. <laughs> I just want to point for that out. All of this magic. This is exactly like this is very similar to how Core found his. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> but then I didn't know what it was, and I didn't know how good it was. Now I do. But I just want you to know that. <laughs> all right. You find eleven thousand gold. Oh, twelve hundred platinum. Oh my gosh. And 4,500 gold in Rich various voice. valuables. Stevie, yeah. The platinum's like another 12,000. I see we got one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six. I'll take so, a yeah, so of it. For, and you can divvy for, the sake of, for the sake of math, 23, 27, 27 and a half thousand gold. Uh, I want to look over the items. Well, there's six of us, so I'll take a quarter, and then you guys can the split the rest. There's uh, seven speed. of us. Can I identify the spell? No? Okay. But uh, Becky I can, I can, has I can identify some. They say, I'll be generous, I'll only take a third. Magic <laughs> there's, there's, there's seven of no. us, Alton. If you know what the item is, you may yeah. be able to recall what? some more. No, there's six. I can do some. You no, can no. roll one appraisal Ignum check. Ignum doesn't count. He's an NPC. If you fail it, you don't know. No second. Jesus. Gary right, counted. Don't matter. I was a douche. <laughs> What's that? Uh, well, I've got them in order, so we'll say that you look at the blade first. Okay. This one you have a band on, as it is truly right, legendary. 30. Natural 20. The second you see this, you know what this is. It is a luck blade. Yeah. Dudes, we're getting slightly OP right now. Right, Plus one attack. Nice. Plus one damage, plus one to all saving throws. Oh boy! You gain one luck point per day, and the big boy, it has one wish spell remaining. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I break it. I break it. I wish this was a little bit taller. Hey, you know what you should do? You should wish to become the lady in the woods. 
You sure two of them are broken? <laughs> or just one was broken? <laughs> yeah, I said, I said that backwards. Yeah, I, I said it backwards. No, I one was, I'm saying, I no, was I did it again. I wish two was cracked. I'm going to hope for Genie. Yeah, because, <laughs> dude, I, I was lucky because when you, uh, when you create it, you roll a D4 well. minus one. I rolled two. Right. Yeah. And I was thinking, I was like, the whole oh, yeah, was <laughs> so who has it? Who has this blade? Okay. Who has the blade? So good, dude. So All right, good. next one, the spectacles. Wait, who has the blade? Another like national team. Got it. Before, and actually, you, you know of them because they are applicable to your appraising. They are the eyes of minute seeing. These crystal and spectacles grant advantage on investigation checks on subjects within a foot of you. When I was like, I've never seen white. Like, and you guys are like, because it's not. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, next one. Seven. Seven. You've never seen anything quite like this. The Emerald Spear. Yeah, not not sure, but it, you you as you kind of maneuver it, you hear. Does it like? Does it have any like any motifs or like engravings? Nope. No, it almost looks like that. Uh, it's not just like one solid color. There's like some disparity in the coloring, and it almost looks like uh, like have you seen those? You know, the magic dice that like as you move them, you can see like the yeah. movement inside. You can almost see that, but it looks like it's the surface of it. it like it does seems. Does he know what it is? If I he does not know what this is. This is meta. This is like out, out of character. If I was to give my plus two dagger to Carmack, would it just plus two his weapon that he transformed? Like, can he eat it? Yeah. Is that, can, can, can you do that? Lance? So I can bind a magic weapon as my packed weapon. Okay, so I'm actually going to do that right now. As I have this new blade, I'm going to hand you my plus two dagger. Plus two dagger? Yeah, so you can change it into your whatever you want. Yeah. Wanda fireballs. Yeah, I'll double check to make sure that, that it. No. Uh, I think that's how Seven. it works. Like, send all of it? Double check. But that'd be cool for you. All right. I like the way it happened. But, yeah. Uh, it was the most epic Last thing. one. Okay. This milky white liquid. Gross. Uh, 12. Um, with a 12, you're not sure what this is. This doesn't strike you as a purely magic item. Maybe this is look like poison. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Because I knew a little bit about that poison. Uh, it, oh, it is not that poison. Oh, okay. so oh side like note. Cool. Also, um, all of her remains have become this black tar-like ichor. In case you guys were looking. Which, oh yeah. That's right. Her. Is that a good night. One of the primary ingredients can be, can be, it's basically going to be a really strong venom. And, yeah. Specifically in Maryland. <laughs> Yeah, so not not sure on the last one. Uh, but you guys do also have the one to spell. Anybody want, want this? I want that. Okay. If that's okay. No. I want the I want the uh would have been cooler if you had one ready. Dude. The glasses. This is the gold. Like oh. You should probably keep this. <laughs> okay. Does a plus two a plus two weapon is plus two on attacking damage, right? Yes. There's only looking for specific things. Eric, are you Which keeping the, the spectacle? Cool I don't remember what they said, but yeah, both both of the wands for sure. Um, you said wands, scrolls, and there was the fireballs, the dagger, and something else. I don't the plus two dagger that Lance just ate? Yeah, too bad. <laughs> well, it's not eaten yet. It will be. <laughs> it will be. Yeah. I mean, I have a plus one too if you want that as well. I didn't know how you want to do that. If you wanted to give it back to him, I'd give him my plus one. But you also have some other stuff you, you've uncovered. You, that green sphere, this white fluid. I just know you, you, said can, like, say you can actually utilize like that. Yes. Yeah, my new scene, you get advantage on investigation checks on things within a foot. Or like um, knuckles. So I can hold those something close. Brass knuckles. Take those. I, that's a DM question, I guess. And that, am I able to wear like knuckles or padded gloves or something? And so, that was my like, how's he going to get his pluses later? That was yeah. like the problem the monk has, and like a lot of people talk about that. Yeah, so, um, brass knuckles, yeah. Uh, like, really good style, too. Could I take, maybe, although 
technically speaking, physical impact with your body is not what causes the damage. Right. Oh. So they could affect your non-raging right. attack, but they really wouldn't affect I just your wondering how we could get a better plus. Like eventually these things get really high plus of over where it's like mm-hmm. you kind of have to have magical items. I mean you're I mean I have ideas. They yeah. do well outside of the rule book, but yeah, we can we can yeah. think about that as we get tied it up. What up? Yeah. I mean that's part of my that's plan. What, that's why uh, that's what plants go to the item. Get tattooed. Yeah. 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 So what do I know that Proverbs said? The two wands, the scrolls. The yeah, you had those other items. Let's we'll say that you find them. Like one of them was like the uh, the was crown, the design? crown of winter crest or something. Yeah, but it wasn't any of these. Like it wasn't the eyes of the thing. Uh, not not specifically. Not specifically. Yeah. So the, the luck blade wasn't on it. No, yeah. no, it was not. You have to take the glasses. Do they um, the the glasses. You guys have the glasses. Yeah. Oh, okay. do they require two? Just here. Just here. Okay. Uh, I want to pull out, pull out my my great sword. Yeah. Kneel before. And I want to knife Rogs. Okay. Straight up. I get awful scenes. I'm just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I. Sir Brogs. Sir well, Brogs like, the handsome. Ah. Sir Brogs the handsome. You were knighted by someone who does not have the authority to do so. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You're the only I don't know the etiquette. <laughs> and I'm sort of like, dude, I'm going to put not in the parentheses after that. <laughs> well, that's not what I meant. Um, make an intelligence check for me, Absalom. Intelligence? Yep. Mine is rent apart. Oh, no, no, it's not. Just flat intelligence? Or 21. So based on a few facts, as you kind of re- resolve this in your mind, like how could he not have put this on his list, this left blade? begins to kind of make sense of you. This was not by where you found the other items. You found them like in crates and boxes and chests all in the back. You found this in the open. Right next to where the demon was. And it was warm to the touch initially. Uh, he dropped it. This was his. Sick. With this, this one, that was Baylor? <laughs> He's in a ring to this. Can I just touch it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, is if you note the the details of it, all of the effects of it are valid when it is on your person. So you don't even have to use. You don't even have to use it. So just, uh, okay. That's what I did with Thor. If you remember correctly, he just had yeah, the, he had the just look just laid on his back, and then he just cast a wish with it. Yeah, I think it's for like the saving. Doesn't it make you wonder what? The Does first it give me plus one to attack damage? Does it have plus one to attack damage? Plus, it, plus one attack general? and damage. So if I attack with the dagger, though, it's plus one stone. Yeah, healing. No, that that it's sword. Like, that's the word. Yeah, okay, Absalom. If that so, sword came from the Baylor, and you have that butterfly that can also be the Baylor on you, maybe you should separate the two. Yeah, well, Absalom's the only one that yeah, knows that's where it came from. Oh. <laughs> yeah, everybody else just. I mean, you 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 see that he has the sword, but you're not 100 percent sure where it is. So. Should should we head back to town? Tell me solve the cult issue. Or should we rest here? Or no, we should head back to town. I don't want to sleep in this creepy ass cave. Yeah, let's get away from have, the cave. What time is it? <laughs> it's late. Does anyone have a sundial? I specifically would like to absolutely mention that he would like to rest somewhere in this case. Unknown reasons yeah. to you guys right now. I need some spell slots. <laughs> oh, I don't need those. We're not we're not that far away, right? We're just a few out. Like we're not. 
Absalom would like to well, rest. I just want to point out if we do run into something in the woods on the way back, Rogs is utterly useless. <laughs> yeah, the sorcerers have to know. <laughs> and so do paladins. Yeah, we'll say that uh, Ignum will suggest yeah. pulling down that tall pillar with Eric's help. And so you guys are able to pull it down and kind of you, you tuck yourselves back in that far room with the table and you pull that into kind of blocking, making a bit of a where makeshift. Are we at? Where, where makeshift. Go back and over there. Yeah, so he said, let's move over here. Okay. And then we knock down that pillar. Pull this down. Yeah. Kind of nice. Hey, Adam. I would like to. Uh, I yes. Can you just uh, like text me a picture of the wand of dispel? Yep. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to. Which we haven't opened that box yet either, have we? The floating brick. Oh. Oh. So, so I can do that. Hey, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Eric has it. Yeah. Save that. I'm going to. I think uh, I can use it more than once. You have the floating brick on it, it has three charges. That's basically the only thing that says on the yeah, card. So. Works as dispel magic. You know, it has three charges. No, I don't like a so. day or a period. Uh, it has three charges total. The, so the way that it works is like any of the wands. It has three charges total, right? You can it gains one d four minus one every night. So one d four minus one, um, and if you use the last charge, there is a chance that it will be destroyed. Okay. Does he have the? Did he make? He pulled that thing free, right? Yes. He oh, able to walk no. it around. Without? You gave the brick. I, don't think I do. Yeah, you do not. He gave the brick to brick. Thicket. Yep. Thicket. Yeah. Thicket. Because oh, yeah, we're dumb. Page. We also have no idea we're gonna get one this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All those mm, side note. Have you ever told anybody that you have that green ring? No. Oh my gosh, no. I forgot about that. Yeah. It's in my, well, I, I keep having a glitch with, um, does he have like, yeah, I can't get rid of it. I can't, I can't name it for some reason. Do I see the luck blade on the back of Absalom? Um, I would say probably. I'm going to use my wand of dispel. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be trash. <laughs> It wouldn't work. <laughs> it, it will That's not true. work against it. Legendary you item. Personally, try. <laughs> All right. Anything? All right. Well, I'm actually thinking about trading it <laughs> for the goggles. I'm gonna go. Those goggles are sick. Find a kind of deceptive. I'm gonna go find a corner to cry in because I lost both of my dogs tonight. Oh, mm. uh, oh, I'm actually gonna pull another patch of glory nose. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> you know, the best thing is if like it's a patch of gold and you blow your nose and it just rockets gold everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, don't blow your nose, you might sneeze. Man, you guys okay. will lose your beard of feathers. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't okay, so what's our individual gold take? Still have. Uh, so it was a twenty-seven and a half. Are you sharing with Ignum? Yes. We're freaking yeah, sure. He deserves it. Although, Does he take it if he's a slave? What is that? Does he take the money if he's a slave? Like, is that a thing? Can we pay him outside of like? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, so this is all something that you would have to ask if you so think that that's appropriate. It's thirty-nine twenty-nine. Thirty-nine twenty-nine thousand nine hundred twenty-nine gold. There you go. 3,929 gold. How much? 3,000? Yep. 929. Nice. Is that with Ignum or not? Yeah, with Ignum. So let's ask him before we just assume. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. we found fast stacks of gold. I assume you don't want any. Right? Uh, on it. Oh. Uh, currency. Yeah, because I literally used all of it. Oh, yeah. Ignum. Uh, wait, 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 wait. wait. I don't I have How much did you think you have? You said it was 27,500, right? Yeah. Divided by seven? How much was it? 
That was I it was like so, forty nine right. twenty nine point five seven. So rounding up forty nine thirty. Wait, forty nine thirty. Thirty nine twenty nine. Thirty nine. Thirty nine. Thirty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was doing my own way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thirty nine twenty nine. Yes, that was my math with my personal goal. Ignum. Yes. I I don't know, like the social cues of what you're allowed to do as a slave, but you're part of this. Can you take a cut? Yes. Okay. That's Perfect. Yeah. It is customary that I will have to disclose it to my master. You may okay, take what he uh, wants. Do you... We, we can split it evenly with you. It's, is that fine? Or would you rather have like an amount that you can split past your master? No, I would. I would appreciate this. Okay. It is always their choice, whether it's five gold or five thousand. I see. Oh, so he's okay with five gold. That's why well, I heard. You can have the thirty nine hundred as yours as well. You piece of crap. <laughs> Do you have any use for any of these items that we might not have use for? Those would almost assuredly be taken from me. Okay. You know well, we're going to keep them if that's cool then. Understood. What did the green man get? I asked you don't know. about what I don't know. So I know, I, the, I know the blade in the. In You're going to throw that in? Yeah. It is Ring of Poison Resistance in that case. And it is maybe what saved your life boy. in the house. Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh. So I knew what two of the first two were. I asked Ignan if he had seen this green orb and this white liquid or whatever. What are the two that I don't know? I'm afraid I'm not. I might know what the white liquid is. I think oh, I've done it. I should have to know what they are first. I think I think I may have done it with your help. It, done what? You hear me? Earn your freedom? I think it's Crystal teleported it instead of. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think possibly. I will take this man, Norris, back as evidence, but I think this was their home. This was their base. And although the creature may be. In this world still, the cult itself is dead. Thank you all for your help. You're welcome. You did an amazing job. Is he staying, he's staying here, right? Yeah. I uh, suppose I feel pretty good. I, I gained like 30 HP or 25. Do you guys take a long rest? Yeah. I took a short rest and burned all my... Yeah, I'm, yeah. like, um, I'm going to take first watch. I'm going to stay awake, but I'm going to pretend to sleep. And we're by us and nodding off. I'm going to go wake up. Okay. Before we go to sleep, if he thinks he's free or not, can I check his watch? His um, thing. Go ahead. Go Yeah, go ahead and you make an investigation check. He sees you like come up. Yeah, he comes up to him. Oh, like, uh, yeah. Dude, use them, use them, dude. What are you doing, Grogs? I'm trying to see if you're free or not, though. Good. No. Good. You said investigation? Yeah. I'm actually going to see. thing I had advantage. Uh, that is a. That is a 15. I'm sorry I, if I misled you. I believe that our actions here today will lead to my freedom. It's not instantaneous, I'm afraid. You never know. 
Their masters could be watching this as we speak, yeah. They usually keep a short leash, but planar distances allow me certain freedoms. But thank you for checking. It's no problem. I'm okay. actually going to go ahead and uh, move the rock and put it back. Sure. So, uh, and then I'm just going to sort of take a watch. I do actually want to like kind of go up to like the entrance of the cave and maybe even like wander about and like kind of just like wandering this like yeah just like look at the sky because it's been like a dank dark day so I'm just, yeah. Like, yeah that's what I'm doing and it's like you're right at the cusp of the beginning of fall so the the night's a bit cooler than it was feels good to be outside Feels good to be outside, especially given your size is a little bit constricting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and make a perception check. Oh, super good. Dang. Uh, 21. Okay. Um, night goes without any sort of an issue. Anybody else going to take a watch? Yeah, I'll take a watch. You still got one. And I will summon my shadows and cast them around the edge and see if they can increase my investigation or whatever yes. I have to make. Yeah, so go ahead with that. Make a make a perception check with advantage. Okay. Yeah, I'm running out of points. Hold on, let me mark up my points real quick. Um, okay. Investigation, you said, or perception? No, I'm sorry, uh, uh, perception check. Okay. Uh, 24. Uh, your, your watch also, you can, you can hear some rustling, but it seems to be at a bit of a distance. Um, we'll say you send like one of your shades to investigate further. And it's just like um, a few deer that are, have gotten kind of close to the cave now that it's mostly silent inside. And they, okay. Continue on their way without issue. Okay. I use wish to cast more wishes. <laughs> you fail. You die. <laughs> um. Actually, can I see something real quick? Sure. So this time. Uh, Uh, can I hold concentration while I'm asleep or no? Can you do one now? Do you hold concentration if you're asleep? Or does sleep no. end concentration? Okay. All right. So when I go to bed, my sh my shadows disappear. <laughs> okay, we'll get there. Uh, we'll get there. We're still in the cave, right? All right, next watch. No one. Now I did mine. Ignamoil. Ignam will take last watch. Um, so he will go ahead and take his watch. Aaron, you find yourself in what you know to be a familiar place. It takes you a moment, but you find yourself in city streets. Familiar streets, streets of bros. You've been to this exact spot, although you can't place it. You just know that you're within the city walls. And the crowd is milling about, but you can't see faces. And they're somewhat blurry as they're just ambient. And then you see, peering over the wall, a titanic woman, jet black hair, Ruby red lips, pale skin, beautiful eyes, staring straight at you. You're overwhelmed in an instant. With both, almost, almost that rush that you would get when you were 
in middle school and you were thinking about talking to that one girl. It's exhilaration and terror all wrapped up in one. She sees you. What do you do? I think my fight or flight is going to kick in and my wings are going to come out and I'm going to bolt to her as fast as I can flying. Okay, so these, these wings erupt from your back and you launch yourself through the air towards her. She shatters the wall, sundering it apart, slamming through the crowd as she rushes towards you reaching out with her arm as you reach out with yours you, you're inches apart when you hear a voice from reality Darren Darren wake up what? you wake up to Ignamal you're in the cave are you okay are you okay yeah what, what, what's wrong you were thrashing about, mumbling something. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry, it's a dream. Just a dream. Did I say anything? Nothing that I could understand. It was in, it was either mumbling or in another language. I'm sorry. I know what it is to be plagued with dreams. I wish better for you, friend. Thank you. And one by uh, one, you guys begin to wake up. Was there, well, I'm sorry, was there something else? Uh, I was just gonna pull out my journal and start journaling the dream. Said, uh, that she's like black paper. Yeah. Is her skull taken? Is that possible? So, Meta, I don't know if you know this or not. Her extra planar body completely dissolves. You find her at her house, you know, it would be different. I know. I remember based on our conversation, I was like, dude, Mike's gonna be so bummed. But yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, the icker is all that's left. Hey, I gotta step away from the computer for a second. Sure. The other people are, I mean, the other bodies are still here. Ignum collects uh, Norris and the half elf girl. What do you think? Should it be destroyed? Should we take it with us? As I could take it back to the capital. Is there mages there? Mm, yes, many. That might be with the queen best. as some of the best available at her side. Is that it? Bet you didn't know much about it. Um, just kind of he's sitting there listening, but he's going to be looking through his um, journal. Uh, they had it, so he's just kind of like making sure everything, everything, sure. sure. everything is there. You can tell that it had been looked, at. but like almost like this, like uh, you know what I mean, like with no care at all, and kind of thrown to the side. And then he kind of like brushes off his mask and puts it back on. He's ready for it. Go back out. Wait, did I find the crystal? The crystal is nowhere to be found. Rage. <laughs> Unless you talk about the giant crystal that is definitely different. All right. He retracts his level four, turns into a barbarian, and rages. Hold <laughs> it. Um, all right. Anything? Anything that you would gain from the cave? I don't think it'd be a bad idea to destroy it. My concern is, will 
will the if we destroy it, will the Baylor come out? Is it stuck in there still? That just said it like teleported essentially. It got sucked into one and got sent to another. Teleported where? That's a good question. A butterfly did come out this side though. A butterfly? I knew that, right? He just he showed it to the group. Well, I was talking to Alton, but I wasn't being quiet. Like, yeah, yeah, we, we were, were right there. there. We were yeah. right there. Yeah, so it's sensical. Yeah. It's sensical. Uh, I just want to make sure I was in with that again. I had to do with magic crystals. What's that? I told you guys about it. It's the, it's what the doctor. It was oh. on the. It was on the. You and Alton. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It was in the scraps of paper. I didn't know what the about. actual thing was called, but. Yeah. yeah. It's still no crystal, so there's no way to track it. I feel like it's dangerous to just take it around. Because here's my question. If something can teleport from here to there, if something can teleport from there to here, I think I think this was a message from doctors, from the doctor. I think he, he was taunting me. Doesn't seem like it has any Dealing with payload, I feel like it's uh, no offense beyond. You don't know him like I do. Seemed like there's crying on the roof, too. What was it? I'm saying crying on the roof. He's dealing with that. He's powerful for us to deal with it. He's consuming Baylor's. Mm -hmm. Alton has this nice little magic paper. He's got the death note thing. I did. <laughs> I did forget. Are you sure you want to eat? Maybe he'll have nice clothes. But Doctor. we don't know if that was his real name. I think we already went over this. I want to see him face to face. Please don't take that from me. Yeah. And there's something. Yeah, but this is my thing. Do you, is your personal vendetta worth the lives of others? Countless others, you said. Being destroyed but so you can get vengeance. He, he also said that may not be his the monster actual man either. The only reason I even know Ooh, his name is because of his name. His name was on a piece of paper. That may not even be his true name. There's also that a price to pay. Nice. We I don't know saying, if uh, we don't know if the price might be uh, too much to pay. I'm saying you're not willing to put his name on the paper because you have a personal vendetta. Regardless of how many people you hurt, he's it, hurting people now. Correct. Puts his name on the paper. Who's to say your name on the other side? That's the truth. That's fine. Let's not. Let's. It's one at a time. Who's to say the queen's? My precious Duchess, she would never forgive me. <laughs> as as somebody who uh, who wanted the right name on the paper, is, is no, it's not. He's absolutely right. I wanted to, I wanted to put the name on the paper myself, but uh, it wasn't worth it. It's not worth it. Because we don't know. We don't know what the outcome's going to be, and we also don't know if it's his actual name. What if he's faking it? What if it's somebody else? What if somebody innocent? I was ready to do it. I was ready to write right then. And it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Hold on, though. You said specifically. We have. Don't want him to put that name on the paper. You cut out. You don't want. To be, uh, you don't want that to be taken. You want to see him face to face. You'll see him die. That's my own personal choice, yes. But here's the other I, thing. He does. Does that him destroying other people still to this day right now not trump that? <sighs> Absalom. Hang on, can... Taryn. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth, birthday boy. <laughs> um, 
if it comes to other people <laughs> being abused and all the things that happen to you, that knows, does that matter more than your friendship? I've waited for this my whole life, Eric. How many, how many years is it? Like 12 years or something like that? It was like a long time. Uh, really? Maybe even more. Yeah, maybe even more. Maybe 15? About 15 years. Eric, I spent 15 of my life, my years of my life, being torn apart. I want this more than anything I can explain. If you think that's what we should do, that's your choice. But I don't like the paper. I don't like the idea of it having to kill an innocent person for somebody who's not worth it. This isn't about the paper. Does your vengeance matter more than your vengeance? What are you, what are you talking about? So you're saying I shouldn't go after men? Say that. The I think there's a way we can minimize the damage. The wish, the wish stone you have right there. What do you mean, Taryn? Minimize the damage. I'm thinking the same as. You guys are approaching the city gates at this point. I'm like, I I actually chime in, and I'm like. But there is a chance that the name we think it is isn't. And if we write that name, then we've killed two people and still are nowhere closer to enacting this vengeance or stopping any of the crimes. Did I ever hear well, him so, tell me his name or is it just what I found on paper? You know, I hate to whip it out and wave it around, but it's my paper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's all to never to write the name on the paper. And I found it's just not worth it. Hold there. Vincent. I'm wondering if, let's say, you write the name on the paper. He dies. Maybe we like the name that comes out on the other side and we do nothing and we kill that person. Or we use the wish to get rid of the name. But that's, no, see, that's the thing. I'm holding on to the paper so that I can use it when it's a time when it will potentially save a life. Uh, in the cave, we almost died. I thought about writing the name in the midst of the combat, but we didn't need it. We came through. Uh, I don't know. It seems like a waste, especially when there's a wish on the line too, and especially when we don't know what the outcome is going to be. I don't see how it's worth it. At least not yet. If the time comes and people's lives are on the line, then maybe I'll do it. But I don't see that being the case right now. Absalom, can you wish us all to level 20? (laughs) 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 Nikki! Did we level? Or are we still waiting for that? I knew it was just You just leveled up. Yeah. I just think. You know, we went for an hey, no, no harm in asking. Experience wise, yeah. I think we probably would. Solid, maybe. Yeah, solid. Solid, maybe. <laughs> solid maybe. But, uh, <laughs> I kind of threw you a bone because I was going to wait until after this fight to level you up. <laughs> so but I was like, I need you to be level four to take it on. We so. need to be level 10. I kind of gave you like a. What are you talking about? You guys totally won. But did you die forever? So, I was yeah forever. Forever <laughs> <Like>, now. <laughs> yeah, dude. Level three, we would have got wrecked for sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah level three, you would have got smoked. <laughs> Honestly, not, without yeah. Ignamol's revivify, at least Carmack would just. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even get those shadows at level three. I got those at level four. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Let alone HP. Yeah. So are we just like walking through town with all this loot and gear hanging off of us? Yeah, yeah. talking about who yes. we're gonna kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, the, think the, crowd, stop. the crowd's just kind of like parting around you. Cause you guys like even though you got a long rest and you got all your HP back, you look like total crap. Like you've blood caked, like several sources of blood caked all over you. Some of your armor's broken. Your weapons are dinged up. Like you guys look like you slept in a cave. So <laughs> you know, what you're the, saying is Brogs was Yeah, yeah Brogs looks exactly like he always does. <laughs> 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 okay, all right. I'm gonna go back to that dude that was selling me my fancy rock. Actually, there is something. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, yes, Eric, maybe we should take this loot to the people from the magic store, Frobergs or Frobergs or Friedenbacher. Yes. Orville Friedenbachers. Frumpy. <laughs> yeah. Hawkins. Or Fud Records. Also, you still owe a lot of money for that. Uh... Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So you guys, uh, Ignum is going to split off from you, taking Norris and the crystal with him up towards the manor. Uh, Ignum, will you guys go to? Yes. Will you come find us if you have to leave again? I will. I will stay long enough to satisfy the Duchess questions. And then I will return to Daramar. But I will see you before I go. Thank you. Okay. Let's shop. What do you guys got? As you return, you can see that the building is almost completely reconstructed at this point. Um, you can see like this, the, like the back corner, like the upper corner, is. you can still see this faint blue shimmering light that is slowly mending the structure itself. Um, the interior has been cleaned away. There is a fraction of the items that were before, most of it lower level and fairly unimpressive. But you make your way in to Frobert's Fantastical Finds. Cinnamon in mouth. Cinnamon in mouth. All of you have learned the lesson. Yeah, I have never bought um, Yeah. I never bought any cinnamon. I bought a bunch. Yeah, he's got a bunch of for everybody. I just I was like, <laughs> here, one view, one view. <laughs> yeah. Is he handing it to us in front of them, like at the store? Yeah. <laughs> they all kind of squint. <laughs> a little bit. I don't get yeah. that. What is that? Okay, I don't think I ever walked in there with the Remind me what happened. Time. I don't know if I was here when that happened. The whatever the cinnamon was. keeps the charm. He spoke yeah. with a, a barkeeper That's and kind of like yeah, she she kind of took a liking to him and gave him the tip. Hey, if you go to Frobert's, make sure you take a stick of oh, cinnamon. Okay, I missed that. Yeah. So I can't really I have items to know your character. Okay, yeah, let's go around the corner. Anybody selling anything? Depends on what there is. How much yeah, is same. Okay. I can't Not even. selling, but paying off my debt. It says on the card what the left boy is worth. Oh, the one the, the, in, the, in the one thing it says no. Does it really? Did I not write it on it? Yeah. Bottom left? Price. It has no monetary value. <laughs> If you have to ask, you can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. uh, yep. My computer so might have frozen to... up. Yeah, it says that actually in D and D Beyond too. So. Yeah, that's what I, I pulled the thread from. I don't know what's happening here. I want to give back anything that I have that like they uh, they wanted, like scrolls. Uh, I think I found it. I do let them know, like, hey. Um, the one the fireballs was destroyed. Uh, I think we're destroying the, the Marilith. As his cakes and gore. The what? <laughs> Probably a little scene showing up or something. Yeah, I'm going to just explain yeah. what's going on now. Okay. Uh, still on fire. Probably do. Probably do still on fire. That was. 
I'll give him back everything that I gave him. Not 20. Damn, what a, what a crazy like, back in time. That was like a crud moment. That was actually. Okay. Terrible. So here are his current items. They they are what they are. He has oh, plus lying. one quarterstaff, plus one scimitar, plus two lance, plus two pike. He has an adamantine ringmail, carpet of flying, lance of warning, mace of smiting. Uh, several potions, a few scrolls, Is which he doesn't like really carry. Stone? Um, yes. <gasps> he also has a uh, split armor resistance, <laughs> trident warning, and a vicious lance. Do you, do you have any leathers? Leather armors? Uh, um, you have a lot of lances. What's what's the animantium thing? Yes. What is that? What did you say? Uh, Adamantine ring mail. It is. It's, uh, it's heavy. Isn't it? it's heavy arm. I have a look at its heavy arm. Yeah. Also it turns a crit into a real hit. Yes. It's banger. Yeah, heavy. It's a uh, heavy. Uh, Fourteen oh, AC right. disadvantage to stealth check, and the adamantine nature makes it that you can't be crit. Uh, you said something else and I forgot. Okay. He does have a plus one staff, which I think you were looking for, right? No. I don't oh. hardly use my staff. Carpet of flying? That's what it was, yeah. Size? Okay. What's the size of it? Um, It is... You got to roll it. D100 thing. Yeah, I've got those stats right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, give you, yeah, I'm on DD Beyond now. So I can tell you. Give me a note. Okay. Got it right here. It's cough. It's going to be 66. So it's five feet by seven feet. And capacity is 600 pounds and flying speed is 40. So How much is it? Big... And the carpet can carry up to twice the weight shown on the data. <clears throat> so it relies at high speed if it carries more than its normal capacity. Sorry, my magic table is totally bogged down. I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, thank you. Just recalling, we don't have any like enchanter or anything, enchanting shop in this town. No, but this would be the place to ask. 17,000. For which one? Carpet of Flying. Very rare. Oh, we have three. Categorized, <laughs> by the way, it is beyond all of the normal things. It's one of the uh, like, like 25 items in the entire game that are considered game changing. <laughs> Uh, what's his name? Robert. Concentration. Robert. Yes. Mm -hmm. We yes. just brought back a ton of your crap. Can you cut me a deal on this carpet? Carpets this size are incredibly rare. I am cutting you a deal. Question. Inside check. Yeah, what, what items did you guys give away? Did you give back? I didn't give him anything. Whatever. Sure. I yeah. Tell him, like, the one was ripped. Yeah. Like, did you give him the milky sweet. potion and the emerald orb? Yeah, I actually will ask him, like, we did find these two. Are you familiar mm -hmm. with this? Um, they are not mine, but. This is universal solvent. I know that. The orb. 
Uh, I've never seen one before, but I believe it to be a vitriolic sphere. When he said that, does that, do I, does that anything? Uh, with that. Like now that he's mentioning it. Yeah, now that you, yeah so go ahead and make your uh, appraisal checks again. So the universal solvent, I like, okay. But mm, yeah. Uh, the other one, though, 21. So I'm gonna... Yeah, so with the 21, this is a bit of a custom item. Um, it's based off this spell, vitriolic yeah. sphere. Yeah. The range here is 50 feet. Okay. Upon contact, this one foot diameter ball explodes 20 foot radius. Each creature must make a deck save. DC is 14. Or take 10 d4 acid damage and another 5 d4 on the end of its next turn. Successful save gets half initial damage, no additional. Um, any non magical metallic structure, such as a door, gate, a bridge, takes double damage. And there is a 10% chance of destroying any non magical metallic weapons or armor. Can I do an insight check and see if he's actually giving me a deal on this or not? Yeah. Good. Uh, pretty good. Um, I could uh, offer you 700 gold for that. 19. A 19. It's a deal. It is a carpet that size could run up to 20. 20 grand. So $2,000 for gold. Probert, Probert, I know you do a line of credit. Would you do one for this object? Uh, he kind of looks around the shop real quick to see who's looking around. Listen, I'm, I'm afraid with all of the damages and everything that we've incurred, most of the items, the high value items, will not return to us. This is the, this, this is the most valuable item that we have in the shop. I, need I can it. pay for half of it now. Ah. I, could, I could hold it for a limited amount of time. But if I get a full price deal on this, I will have to take it. I mean, if we band together, we have, okay. How much do you have? I have, I have. If I if I sell the wand with it, I have nine thousand, right at nine. Right, just the right wand. Under 9, the wand is the wand is technically his, Taryn. So if you bring it out, he will just expect to get it. Uh, does it look? Specific. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well then, I don't have that much. I have, I have just under five thousand. You keep this here. All right. And we'll just my debt will be square. Understood. Does anybody want to band with me on this carpet? Like my feet on the ground. Yeah, I mean I do. Yeah, except for when you have to jump out of a window to save your life. I'm nimble. I'll land on my face. Like a cat. I hate cats. Just like a cat. I always land on my face. The only thing I want to ride <laughs> is a dragon, my friend. The only thing oh I want to ride God. is a dragon. I think you guys are really underestimating how useful this would be. Danny knows. Why do you want to run? Around? Mike also knows, but. Yeah, why do you want to run? It flies. It's Rock. a flying carpet. It moves faster than most of us can walk. There's all the rum going. I don't believe her. I've never seen a carpet fly. <laughs> well, ask oh, Becky bro. about it. Yeah, if you don't believe me. She I, said you're a liar. Uh, with this, he <laughs> unfurls the carpet, and as as it unfurls, it begins to sink towards the ground, like you know a normal rug would. But then he speaks a word in Elven, and it it stays. That's what word is it? What word is it? It is autumn wind. In the okay. I'm gonna note that. Okay. Hey, so last time I was in here, you showed me a, mm. a stone. Armac? Yes. Still have it? I do. You can uh, already fly, can't you? Do you have wings? No, you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> on his person. Yeah. I asked him about ordering items at one point. Is that possible? 
Yes. Yeah, I was gonna ask the okay. same thing too. Because I remember I asked him before. I just can't remember what they said. It, but it was like where so, my range at the time. But yeah. I this stone is uh, oddly specific. This is cool. I'd assume that there are uh, other varieties. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you have any, but uh, I I think it was. Yeah, yeah, the stone of wish. Yeah, I already gave you that. I think it was the stone of protection. I think it was protection because I said yeah, specifically I that I wanted far. to. I wanted to become more I resilient. It was an R also. Resolve. I mean, I'm okay with with I reserve. Have, I have reserve. I have Resolve's resolve. not a. I just the only R is reserve. I'm pretty sure it's protection because I told you I wanted to be able to boost yeah, my. I remember that, but I don't defenses. Based on actually, what you wanted, I think because I think it was you were gonna buy it directly. It was reserve doesn't sound right. I didn't have enough money to buy it. I don't remember because like, I wanted to do one for spells. I don't but he wanted three spells. grand for it, and I only had one. Was it fortitude? It it was for sure either fortitude or protection because it was what something was related to what I wanted. Protection? Yes, it was fortitude because it was a pink rhombus. I remember thinking I was like rhombus. Okay. But that's stupid. Protection. The protection was. Just All right. High. So again, um, I'm which a, would boost your constitution. Constitution. Yeah. Up to a maximum of 20. So I'm assuming there's other types of stones like this one in existence somewhere. Yeah, so again, this is in a small case, and he kind of hides it. Why are you being so fishy about it? This is a personalized and critically rare. I don't. We were recently robbed. And yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. I don't want this to get out. It's not Understand. very common. If I wanted, again, I assume there's other stones like this, if you knew where to look. Yes. Uh, do you mind telling me how you came to obtain it? If I was to look for something like it, where would I be in again? Uh, this was traded in Kalamshan long ago. If, if you can find some of the, the higher class magic dealers in some larger cities, or if you could find some lower class traders in some larger cities yeah. if you know what i mean okay um make a persuasion check make a persuasion check as he kind of like looks you over can i rage real quick no. <laughs> uh five you could tell he thinks something and then thinks better of saying it out loud um listen it's like I told you before. I mean, I'm not that old. I'm a kid. I'm yeah. tough, but I want to be able to, uh, you know, defend myself if it comes down to it. All I'm looking for is to see if there's other things that would be able to help me do that. I don't want a great sword. I don't want some lightning spear. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I can I can work on trading. We we have open channels of communication with some of the larger cities. I can see what I can acquire for you. Okay. Uh, keep me in the loop. Understood. Mm -hmm. Um, I was wondering, I need to find someone to enchant things. I don't know where that I could locate someone to do that. Yes, we could hire it out, or if it's something reasonable, I may be able to accomplish the task. Well, I'm essentially just trying to make myself a little less easier a target. All right. Is there something specific you have in mind? Oh, uh, well, whether it be like a bracelet or something like that, that makes me less squishy. <laughs> I understand. A um, bracelet of hardening. I do know of something. I don't have any on me, but I can put in an order and see if there if there's something that can help. Um, I, I had a question to too. I was looking at uh, <laughs> no, yeah. sorry. I was looking at the Could you order animated. Show? I will. I will put out the word. Oh yeah, Could you pour 
Now that is actually more reasonable. And I, yes, I, I should be able to come up with one of those. Adam, I was looking at the animated shield. Animated shield? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does that just give you plus two to your AC, but you're able to like, do things with little things activated? Or does that say what armor it gives you? So yeah, yeah, it would just be, I, I would assume that. Let me check here. Animated shield. Oh, 151. Yeah, it protects you as if you were wielding it, so you have plus two. Okay. That's probably something I'd be interested in if I can activate it and it's still really useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one too. That would be nice. Well, Rose, is there anything else that I can help you with? Would it be worth it? I throw them on the gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Try to get it done quicker. Okay. I'm going to ask him how much, how long he'll hold that carpet. I will. I will do my best to hold it for a month. How much but if you... someone comes in and wishes to buy it at full price, I will I will not turn them down. How much gold do we all have? You said you had five thousand. We have enough. What is it? The, the carpet is seventeen. So we have ten right there between the two of them. How much do you guys it's have? It's worth up to twenty. I have almost five grand. Same. I have just 39. I have what we got. You've always spent every penny. Mm -hmm. so I got plate armor and that moonlight. Crazy. It's something we really wanted. We could all pitch in. Or like get yeah, it, I but. think we should pitch in on it. I think it would be smart. <laughs> but I need to keep some money for this shield I'm trying to get to. So. Well, I if I can, if we pull in, I can sell the wand somewhere else for 4000 so if you need for some money, I can give it to you. I just can't use it here because it's his wand. I'm gonna try to patch. Do it. <laughs> you gonna try and what? What's he trying to do? Let's try that. He just oh, rips a patch off of his patch. off of his left arm. I gotta figure out where it's at. And I need something completely unrelated. I want to do as well. I'm trying to get some gold. Getting wicked. That's not a D10. Huh. Roll one D ten. Money, money, 30, money, money, money. Thirty. Straight up. Yep. Ten gems worth a hundred gold pieces each. Another thousand gold, thousand, baby. So I can throw that. So out. how much? How much is that, frogs? A how thousand. much are you throwing in? I can do a thousand. You rip off a pouch and almost like um. Well, I'll, I'll patch, say eleven hundred. And almost like like the Instagram videos, you drop it onto a counter and just. <laughs> Dear Lord, I'm good about that. No, I remember. <laughs> I remember the robe. <laughs> I know it well. Anyone else? If no one else wants to chip in, then we can't get it. I can. How much are we short? I don't really wanna... I've got eleven hundred in. I hey Adam, could I sell the wand to the scroll guy? You think? Maybe. I, I can chip in right now. I can chip in just shy of 5,000. Plus, if I can sell the wand somewhere else, it's another 4,000. Maybe. Yeah, but if this dude finds out that you've sold his wand, is he going to sell you the carpet? Also, side note, all of those cost values are not necessarily what you will get. It is what it is worth. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So I put this. Are you guys wanting part of it? I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah, I can carry all of us. I mean, and it's it moves cool, at a but faster I don't feel like it's worth it. I mean, it's what happens if we come up? It's pretty come good. To a, what happens if we come into a troll that demands that we fly over his head on our car? Yeah, you're right. We don't live in. Oh my gosh. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm done. <laughs> What happens if some creepy old guy tells us there's a treasure inside the cave that looks like some kind of weird cat? That's on the top of his mouth. Yeah. If we don't do this deal. And we go in with our talking ball, monkey. Yeah. I'm just going to get to the shop over see if I can speed that up yeah, a little yeah. more. But the, the funny thing here is that this the is the greatest enemy that I give you. <laughs> An expensive magic item. <laughs> yeah. 
This is the I don't PR understand show. why you all don't think it has any value to it. There's going to be plenty of situations. I do. I just don't think it has 17 grand of value. I ripped the patch. It's just really expensive. expensive. Yeah, dude. We can fly. <laughs> we I can fly. To. Okay, we can fly right. faster than we can walk. Anytime we have to go anywhere that's over a creepy ass forest, we can fly over it. <laughs> How many times have but, we had to do that? And we can get there faster than walking. Also, when has time been that big of an issue in this campaign? How about when has danger ever been an issue in this game? It's not about getting there faster all the time. Sometimes it's passing up unnecessary enemies. Hey, that's free experience. The real estate. That's that's loot and experience. So. Yeah, we're an experience. Yep. Sounds like the, this is a the democracy. The Boo! Boo! <laughs> All right. All right. It's not more names. So, yeah, then I'm just going to throw the shopkeep guy next without. The oh, I think we should buy an ice cream pie. Ah. Process. Think about all the times we're walking through the desert and it's so hot and we're like, boy, I could do for an ice cream right now. <laughs> That's why we have a wish. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, you guys still friends. I used to have a wish. Turn it into Do you? No. I'm thinking about it actually, because that would be absolutely nuts if he had that. You, you know what's going to happen, right? Justin's going to save up all his money and buy a carpet, and never or, let any of us ride on it. Or, <laughs> nope. I'm going to save it all the time. I'm going to buy it. And you I'm gonna charge you all wish. to ride on it. <laughs> you could use the wish to get us all magic items that we want. Oh, use your wish to get all of us a flying carpet except Justin. <laughs> <laughs> and he can't command any of We could have an unlimited supply of money with your wish. <laughs> that is true, too. Oh, yeah, so all that work I just did. The power of my <laughs> laugh. But the camera's good. Yeah, both on the camera now. Sweet. Do okay, it. Yeah, so also, unlimited I just money. want to do this because I'm sadistic. What do you think that D6 is for, Danny? D6. Read your card. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, Danny's about to get smoked. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's not a true wish spell. It is, but you have to roll 1D6 when you cast it. Oh, no. Oh. Put a, to, to see it, if it succeeds or fails? Yeah. Not. Oh man! <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, Mike, I never put in there. What's the six doubles? That's like that's like double Sorry, sorry okay, for everybody. Right. Right. He can attack like six times. All right, boys. Level. What do you do? That's we freaking leave. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I have something else I want to do. Did he, did he need, like, I wanted to pay off my uh, the rest of for my armor. I was up online this morning. Same way. All these things. I use this. I use this. Uh, this PDF online. Same magic items. Yeah. Free plug. They're not a sponsor, but I love the thing. Yeah. Well, these the whole goon squad is doing. So I'm gonna. I, I did. Did he say anything when I gave him the extra cash for the? Or does he just take it? It's expensive. Shove off. It's pretty good, dude. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Uh, it is astronomical. What's happening? Global displacement. displacement. Sixty thousand gold. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah. looking at that. Too. And it doesn't even fly, does it? <laughs> it's it's really pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty much blur. Yeah, <laughs> but you get it yes. all the time. Sixteen thousand gold. Jumps to me. Justin's the worst. He'll do his best. Um, all right, I'm gonna steal some stuff and sharpen himself. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Skyrim. I'm gonna take his clothes off his back while he's yeah. standing there. Here's a here's a scroll. Here's a dagger. Here's one of your daughters. Uh, <laughs> here's a pants. They're also both yours. <laughs> I'm gonna sit still. Yeah. I instantly disappear. He's like, where'd he go? <laughs> Must have been the way. <laughs> 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 All right. What are you guys doing? 
So I want to slip out where they're while well, they're talking to this mm-hmm. dude and arguing about carpets. Uh, is there is there a tattoo shop? Uh, yeah, we'll say yes, there is. Okay, I'm gonna stroll in. Uh, a little awkward. Never been to one of these before. Sure. Uh, we'll say it's over by the uh, the Southern Docks. Okay. Uh, hey, my name's Alton. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Alton. What can I do for you? Uh, uh <laughs> I'd like to get a uh, tattoo. And this is a this is a tall, thin, half elven woman. Blonde hair runs down her back. Side one side of her head is shaved. She has several piercings and uh, tattoos up and down her arms and like across her chest. She's got like a tank top on, um, and then kind of like almost like capri pants, but they're kind of kind of baggy. Um, and you can see that she's got tattoos on her ankles as well. Um, I've never got one of these before. No, it's a lot. <laughs> so how do we do this uh how much gold is it well it depends on what she wants uh i don't know i mean i was thinking, thinking something kind of small uh, i've never that's the first one so all right do you have a design that you have in mind yeah yeah i was thinking um there's this thing it's like a uh, uh it's like a little creature it looks like it's made of uh I have wood or twigs or I don't know how to describe it. And I'm going to describe the things that killed my friends. The twig blight? In the first sec- session, yeah. Okay, make make a performance check. You're kind of like sketching, kind of talking. Oh, hey, not bad. Mike. 19. So, 19. Did we make some kind of arrangement with the Duchess to get paid for this? Or did we just do it because of what? Go in the range. Make it came and talked. You're by yourself, but you say that like, somebody said Duchess, and I <laughs> gotta make a banging joke. <laughs> um, I don't believe we did. And so, yeah, and so she's able to right come up with like a pretty, pretty accurate representation of this. Yeah, I'm thinking like maybe one of those like in like with some, some the spiky vines coming up. All right, yeah, let's see what we can do. Um, I would say for an arm piece like that, five gold. Yeah. All right. Five gold, you, you slam it out in just this one session. I'm going to give her seven. Okay. Uh, okay. That wasn't so bad. And it, and it is, you know, it, it does hurt. Um, obviously, you know, you sustain some some damage from it not enough to take any kind of health points away but it, it's a grueling process and uh but yeah when you're done it looks exactly like exactly like what you thought thanks uh i'll be back yeah. right. uh, see a healer if it starts to get infected okay all right good luck kid hey uh one more thing before i go uh it's maybe silly but have you heard of any like uh, magical tattoos of course it's beyond my capabilities. Maybe some of the larger cities. Uh, Spitball in here because I don't know anybody that's got any, but what they do? All sorts of things. Uh, so how can I go about obtaining one if I wanted to know about it? You know. The only magical tattooist that I know of is in Zazaspar. So oh. you'd have to travel there. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, you send me something? Yeah. I do not know where my. Oh, I found it. I'm going to head back to the shop and check on the Glimrick. Okay. So I would see. like to find a bank to see if I can open a line of credit. <laughs> okay. Um, you can find like money changers. Uh, these are people that deal with investment. There's not just a, we'll hold on to your money for you. Um, which, you know, I guess that's not what real banks do anyway, but they, you know, they, there is some risk involved that they will try to lend it out, make certain investments on your behalf. They will make money off of your money and there is no FDIC to ensure that. Yeah. <laughs> so I can get a loan. <laughs> Uh, no, it's kind of like the opposite. 
you basically lend your money and there's a chance that you uh, could make more. Ooh, stock market. <laughs> there's also a chance All that right. you lose some. The stock market, boy. <laughs> Is the ch- is the chance to lose all of it or just like percent? I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. You, sure you any money that you you give to them, there's a chance you could lose. And it's two gnomish brothers. Um, they do seem pretty intelligent as you're talking to them. A little spazzy. Uh, no, I can't. I need to. Nope. When I'm not right. engaged, yeah. This is Daryl and Daryl's stock market. Yeah. They have the same okay. name. Yeah. So Daryl and Daryl bottom barrel. There we go. All right. I'm I'm a piece. I'm a pound. I'll, I'll go back to the house too. Uh, making this up on the spot, probably. I would probably just be like, let's roll percentile, and then a number of weeks that it would take, and then that's that's how we would go. Basically, big dollar gambles. Yeah. I think it will be like, I guess, 50% if you get your money back straight. Oh, no, I'm sorry. So there would be, I feel like maybe it would depend on the risk that you would want to take. We would change the DC. You would roll a 20, just a D20. If you meet or, or break it, then you would gain percentage. If you roll under the DC, you lose the percentage does the amount of money affect the person i have to get no no okay so the, the amount of money only is that's just what you're you're willing to risk or willing to make sure what will affect it is how risky you want it to be how much do you want to push the percentage do you want to go for 50 percent one way or another then you know going to be obviously more than just like a 10 percent risk you want to go for a hundred percent risk Ooh, then, it, then it's going to change okay. do it Darren. so you're like no no no, i can't I, you walk out and in the same step you walk back in and you're like so how exactly though <laughs> <what's> <laughs> yeah okay I, so I they kind of explain the nuts and bolts of the market and you know where they've been investing recently Currently, Froberts is a is a hot place. He's needing some money. Do they only take invest? Oh my god! Do they only take money, or like, can I use items? Assets. They can take assets. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna use my wand of this spell as an asset. They do make it clear that they will liquidate that asset most likely. So it is possible that you will get money back and not yes. the item. If you are okay with that, <laughs> just totally secure with the guy. <laughs> can before I make a decision, is there any way I can know how long it would take, or is that dependent on how much I put up? That also that also kind of depends. I'll roll for how many weeks it's going to take. I need it to be less than four. Come on, Karen, do it, man. <sighs> Yellow swag, dude. All right. Let's do it. All right. So you put in the wand alone? Nope. I'm putting it all in. Oh, boy. Yes, dude. He wants this carpet. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Happy birthday. He said, screw you guys. I'm getting the Now it's interesting. Now it's interesting. You put in how much exactly? Hold on. I'm trying to. I, I'm going to put it all in 8,868 gold. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. I got to calculate this. I'm no Lance. 8,868. <laughs> Is that with or without the one? That's with the one. <laughs> if, it, if it goes for street, the value on the card. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, see. How much, how much is my pawn? How much is my pawn worth? Unbroken pawn. I, I don't have a card for it or anything. Um, that's true. Do you remember what I said that that does? I don't know what that does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it a plus, plus one to constitution saves and ability checks. 
pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, What's going to be great is when you come out of this with like 16,900 gold. Herbert's <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, dude. Nah. <laughs> I'd give him the damage. Just kidding. If he, if he got that much, I'd give him that. What if, like, are we in protection? That's a good plus one. Um, I'm gonna say 1,200 gold. It's worth 1,200. Put it, put it on top. All right. So that's a total of 10,068. 1,068. And what what are we talking here? How much of that? How much risk do you want to go? What's the percentage that you would like? Do you go full 100 risk risk the whole pot? Risk it for the biscuit. Can, it's 70%, can I ask the right? DM? Can I ask Deta or DM Meta like what I would have to roll to get 100? Is that, do I basically need to roll a natural 20 for something like that? Like, because no. I'm not I'm not aware of what the risk is. Like, sure, sure. So, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, well, you have a it would one be in twenty your chance of getting your money back. Would be like probably like you get your money. That, that's kind of what I, that's kind of what I was leaning towards. That's kind of what I was leaning towards. So um, now one. You still have inspiration too, don't you? Yeah. So that's true. I don't want to be <laughs> So if a if a ten if a straight ten and nets you no profit no loss then. Maybe that's the best way to do that. Maybe maybe instead of per, you risk the whole percent. If you, yeah, okay. So so your money is already invested, right? All of this ten grand is already invested. Roll a d twenty, and we'll determine. We'll not do any percentages or anything like that, or whatever. That'll be just like in game talk. In practicality, you make or lose whatever you roll beyond a ten. So if you okay. if you get, um, yeah. Get so seven. basically, you'll get. Do so I get? 10%. Any kind of advantage or anything with this? Yeah, you got my inspiration, buddy. That makes sense because then if he gets, if he rolls a twenty, it would double his money. If he yeah. rolls a one, ten percent per okay. point up, they're down. Yeah, really? You're gonna give me your inspiration? You get, you give him yeah, inspiration. All right. So this, this inspiration is brought to you by and Devin you, Martinez. Devin Martinez. Devin, uh, happy, happy, happy birthday! It was, it was happy birthday! Roll it. Okay. Roll Brian. a d20. Roll two d20. <laughs> take the better of the two. Uh, some someone. He's gonna roll a one like and a three. <laughs> Danny, you Thank saved guys. my butt, dude. Um, thanks for the like. What do you got? Nineteen. Nineteen. Nice. First one with a freaking three. <laughs> <laughs> now we all hate you, Danny. <laughs> oh. Now you gotta sing us the Aladdin song. Uh, I can't. Oh, I might not buy it now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I might. I might partner with Frobert for a percentage of all of his profits from now on. That was sixty thousand. Okay, so I rolled for the weeks, and it's six. Over the course of six weeks, you will have twenty thousand. 16 gold. Dang, man. Nice. Do I get it all at once? Nicely job. Yes, you cannot touch it for six weeks. Okay. That's Whatever. the doubt. Okay. So you broke for six weeks, you, but you're, you're going to be rich. Peanut butter sandwiches. And you're going to make money in between those six weeks. Like, yeah. It's D&D. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to buy the most expensive food and drink I can Eric. and yes. eat and drink it in front of someone. Yep. Yeah. You or make your way into the dungeon. I'm a monk. I eat salad. <laughs> For a couple of hours, you look so hungry. They lead you into oh. the Duchess. Very formal setting, um, and you can see actually as you walk in, she is doing this, and then she uh, she sees that you've entered. She, you know, corrects your posture. Was mm -hmm. actually just about to ask you the same thing, Eric. You look a mess. I suppose. That may be part of the course, given your. Seems to be uh, a recurring theme with us. 
I'll be honest, I know that you don't favor the nickname, but more often than not, you are Eric the Red. What news have you? Igna Mall has just returned. Yes. Uh, that cave was quite uh, treacherous. The city of Brost is in your debt. I um, I actually do have it on my character sheet. Um, I have a jar of... <laughs> Sound like a dog from no. I bet it was Lance. I have a jar of that picker. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just set it on the table. This is what remains of the beef. Well done. Tell your skeleton crew that I'd say as much. Yeah. It was uh it was tough, I'll be honest. Carmack nearly died, Absalom the same. Frogs. Tough. It's very tough. You sense a you sense a scoff in your mind. <laughs> what um, what have you found out about the box? Or the brick or whatever. We have almost completed negotiations for a new court mage. She is somewhat fickle. She did, however, this Spell the the chest, as it were. Uh, it revealed several personal items that belong to the mage. We're sending them back with his family. That was the, the chest itself. Um, I'm afraid that it was damaged quite severely. Although, um, it. Uh, if I, if she's to be believed, functions mostly. I know, like all the all the silk, silk, which I thought was kind of cool looking because it yeah. looks like. Yeah, I don't. It may ruin me, but <clears throat> um, if she's to be understood, that it, it can function something like a bag of holding at this point. I could retrieve it. If, you're as welcome to that as anyone else. Yeah, she said I mean, that the magic that anchored it in place appears to have been forcibly disabled. That'd be almost unnaturally strong. She was impressed. We thought maybe the wall had been destroyed. Yeah, it could have been. Hard to say, really. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize what you were talking about. It was like, it's awesome. Man, it's, somebody must have been incredibly powerful. Absalom is actually walking around town spraying rumors that he broke the brick off the wall with his unnatural friend. <laughs> and Taryn had. Uh, Taryn helped. Taryn, Taryn had definitely helped. He wasn't even in the room. Sure. <laughs> the person who would have to have done it by this. <laughs> um, Eric. Yes. What are you going to do now? Are you going to remain embrossed? I, to be honest, I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. I've not talked with the the crew just yet. Um, can I speak off the record and sort of just just look around? As much as any of us can. Is Thicket it around? She could be. I mean, I don't. I know it's like say, like I'm. I'm asking the past. Oh, like, um, do I you, see her? You do not see her. That doesn't mean she's not here. I just did true. you see a painting when its eyes are cut out? Its two eyes looking through it. I um, and its hand is making slipping into the bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strange painting. Uh, I actually want to uh, take out a, a effectively a pen and and paper, um, write down something to the effect of. You don't want to marry me, do you? But I just write it down. And then I just have heard rumors. So we have a gal. His name's Alton. Yeah. I might, like a man. I, I might be too much guy for her. 
like many people, there are many things that I want. But paramount is for the safety and security of my people. Sure. I would sacrifice for it. You should know this. Shouldn't have. Hmm. Is there another different option? I'm just kind of like playing at like, hmm. oh, they like. There are, of course, options out there, but. Do you feel pressure? Hey, I feel, now, so. if I can be and honest team. with you, I feel immense pressure <laughs> from many angles all the time. But I will not make a rash decision. Sure. So I just want you to come to look right now. It will not be the first, and it will not be the last. Sure. But... Know? Let us focus on the good news, as True. it is the first we've had in a while. Perhaps our little streak is over. No more bad news. No more bad news for today. Sure. Well, we destroyed this cult, perhaps. I don't know. Some sort of it seems like it. Demon thing. I don't know. I think he seems really happy. He does. Thanks, perhaps, he might be getting his freedom. He deserves it. 100%. I think he will be leaving in the morrow. Yeah, we should celebrate with him tonight. Indeed. On well, us. Nice. I'll send gifts to your home. Where is Brock? If I might be so cold, where do you see the skeleton crew? In, in in the, in the grand scheme. If I could have all that I want, your elite group of buffoons, <laughs> I would keep as close as possible. Oh, yeah. She wants my buffoons. <laughs> Shut up, Alton. <laughs> <laughs> He's like just talking in his sleep. <laughs> I think so as well. If you value my opinion, I would ask that you not leave. But I know that you must do what you must do. We will survive. That like kind of draws me back to like my feeling. I think there's a, um, a possibility of perhaps taking over that fort. Um, or at least the being a part of it. I Castle could have it? considered that. Fort, fort Brost. We have transferred most of the red tide to the fort for several reasons. She gives you a bit of a knowing look at that. Understood. And you do Same. notice at this point that there are more local looking guards in the manor than you had seen previously. Is there it's small in the shop, you know? Is there any way that we can be stretch our legs? And I will I will keep an ear out. It'd be fantastic. <clears throat> Just sort of outgrown. I understand. She goes down as a huge favor. Sort of growing fan, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Keep an eye around. Um, and if there's anything we could do, we'll are Alton know. pregnant. And um, that's really it. See, Alton's pregnant. So it's not like <laughs> that's, that's a secret. secret. <laughs> yeah. She said we had a growing family. She knocked me up. <laughs> All right, so you make your way out. Anybody else doing anything else? Absalom. I, Absalom's thinking. Um, he's trying to like process everything that's happened. 
So what he does when he passes everything, he does reworks. So I'm actually gonna do free lane yeah. around it. And I was checking for flame rate. He's smoking a J while he's doing it. Well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. His lights are cooking. So he doesn't know where he's at. <laughs> Triple this. Um, you're having a little bit of uh, difficulty. Um really locating anything so you find yourself like returning to less complicated situations maybe just kind of looking for bad people doing bad things and so you can you can spend hours at, at that um alton you said you want to do something what was the name of the city that you said the tattoo artist was in zazaspar zazaspar okay sweet commonly referred to as zaz by the locals yeah, that's my hometown. Uh, I didn't say anything specific other than just you. You looked at me and was like, hey, you want to be able to have better defense in combat? Like, yes. Yeah, I was just trying to, I was trying to make a note of what it is that we were going to look for. So is there anything else then in town that looks like they would have stuff that would appeal to a person who fights in the way that I do? Mm. I'm also open to more training. Yeah, as far as uh, you've not checked out just the regular armor, like the armors okay. or um, yeah, so anything like that, you could I mean, it depends on what you want your tactics to be. You could just get a shield that you use and drop as you, you know, use it to close in the gap. Yeah. Um, Do you Captain America style? You get a shield inflated so you throw it? Yeah. It's great. <laughs> So I, you you know, if that was something you're just in that, that could maybe attack you go. But like, you could wear armor, although you lose certain benefits when you wear armor. What about this? Could I go back to the lady that did my training and pay for sessions that would allow me to roll a couple of my athletics checks now, rather than having to wait until I do them in combat? No. I will allow you if you spend the rest of the day working on it. I will allow you one. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. One, one in a controlled environment makes up for your natural ones. So. Okay. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna make one then. Yeah. Uh, mark down uh, another ten gold. Nat twenty. <laughs> That's a success. Got a boy, dude. That's you. All right. Uh, Rugs. I was checking on Glenrick back at the house. Make sure he's okay. okay. Doing well. The house is immaculate. Um, he. He lets you know that he's prepared meals, every meal, just in case you guys show up um, and, and, and is like ready at a moment's notice. So you walk in and there's a hot plate on the table. Uh, he's got the, the, like the bath area drawn up for you guys. Like it's, yeah, it's perfect. And he, he seems to be doing much better, standing a little taller. I, I pay him a hundred gold just for doing that. And then uh, whether the rest of the group wants to throw in something, that's up to them. Okay. So. I come in uh, after Bob. But I start to count. Okay. That he's Excellent. Doing well. Yep. And he sets your plate as me as soon as you walk in as well. I want to uh, pick him up. <laughs> Rob's are <or> glimmering. Glimmer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> doing a great job here. Oh, thank you, Master. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, sorry. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Supreme master. And I'm actually going to give him a hug. But, but trying not to crush his body. Yeah, and he... Is right. he, is he bad? <laughs> I'm going to walk in as well to the house. Okay. You did a great job. I'm beating up. <laughs> Sit down. I guess start eating too. Thank you. Is okay. this lunch or is this dinner? Um, it's closer to dinner time now. I do want to ask him, um, Glimrick. Yes. How much would you like to be paid? I don't really know. I've never had to buy stuff for myself. I don't. Rocks just gave me a hundred gold. I've never had that much in my life. I don't even know what to do with it. I'm gonna buy an apple for sure. <laughs> You buy that apple, bud. Is there perhaps something other than money? Is there anything you've always wanted to do, or 
Yeah, I mean, you've always wanted to do it during the. Uh, is this a companion side house? <laughs> Sounds dirty. If it were possible, I would love to free my family. That's how much to last. That is. I need more question. Deal really. Uh, fun, I guess. Is that part of the thing or is the vengeance part of it? I'm supposed to make the, your deal? So yes. <laughs> There's kind of two aspects of that. One Wait. sidebar. Yeah. Yeah. Sidebar. Uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Jim, Yo, the, Eric, does Glimmer have his own room or does he just sleep in the main room? No, he has his own room. Okay. Or yeah, or uh room. or actually I think him and Brogs might like double like they might bunk up. I think he might have like what that. if we turn like the attic, if we have an attic into like a full blown room for him? Oh okay. I understand that better now. Like his own space. He's never had his own space. Go yeah, hole. I think he actually yeah. was seeing okay. that he was digging out. Yeah. You, you, you might not know that the, what that will be. It is yeah. not related to this. But I do know big, we offer that, yeah. big belly. Big belly is the <clears throat> culprit behind mm -hmm. that. Um, I mean, more that is something we will, we will try to accomplish. I mean, something more fun, more jovial. Right. Like Eric, I can say this with all honesty. I have never been happier than I am now. Okay. Have you ever got drunk and danced on a table? Yeah, we did that just a little bit ago, remember? <laughs> uh, you do not yeah. remember that? Yeah. Where were you trying to do? I've drank since then. Sorry. I'll say this. I'll I'll say this. this. <laughs> I have a, I have a little bit of a bucket list. Uh, I would love to I know it sounds ridiculous. Just to ride a dragon. Something like that. You know what I mean? No, oh, definitely so not. Never. <laughs> no. Like, sorry, I didn't give you the chance to do that. True. I oh, yeah. <laughs> no, this is this is everything I I never knew that I wanted. This is I never thought that I would live a normal life. Are you familiar with the like, frame in the snow? What? Snow? Snow? No thanks. In the mountains. Yeah, it's cold, it's wet. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. It's warm here, it's dry. Okay. There's food okay. and all of the stands. Okay. Plus, like, tell us. That's a great. Grim, like, do you know what a brothel is? <laughs> yes. Would you like to stay at one for the night? No, so that's a stupid human thing where you guys would pay for that. No goblin has to pay for that. <laughs> oh, so you and frogs are a thing? Dude, all the goblin girls are easy, boys. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with them? That's We're both so boys. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out, girl. He American. walks over to you and grabs you by the waist and opens your pants. <laughs> <laughs> you should know this. Wait, 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 make it, make, it, make an investigation check. <laughs> yeah. oh, you're you're <laughs> no, 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 no. Disadvantage. I'm a eunuch. <laughs> like light, but he's made of light. So. <laughs> yeah. Just ray. Oh, just ray of light. <laughs> An old dwarf came for you. He was very excited, but yeah. said that he needed to talk to. Did it have a gold leg? No. Oh, okay. No, I know who he's speaking of. I really want that. He was with an even <laughs> older dwarf. I think he was blind. I uh, I leave. Oh, where are you like, going? I just like. Eric. Eric. I mean, yeah, I have to do Can something. Get in the candy store for like. Absolutely. Could you bring back some treats? He's resting anyway. So yes, he's I will. And taking them to stop the at the bakery. Cinnamon the rolls. Sure. Uh, Ask for extra glaze. 
I just imagine like, dude, I want to go I, there. I, I just imagine like you make forty three gold. He's just like beating people up, and then Eric's walking by. Eric, <laughs> like Daredevil, you know, like forty three. Yeah, make forty three. I don't stop, but I'm just like, that. I'm just like, why is he shipping people down for milk money? <laughs> 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 He's a so bad funny. guy. <laughs> I uh, I go straight to it. All right, I so go you, you it. go to the forge. Yes. Oh yeah, you had. Did you have to make something? For you? No, I did, but that's not what it's about. Um, it's about the box. There. About the bar. The bar. I want to hear the bar. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's that's what I was referring to. The one with all the. Inscribings on it and stuff. The pommel. Yeah. Dwarwick Rubii. Dwarwick, yes. That is the name of the dwarf that, that you meet. Yes. Eric. Yes, Dwarwick. Wait just a moment. My father's come. I will, I will get you. Excellent. So he's gone for like several minutes. He just goes into the shop, but he's gone for several minutes. Eventually he comes back out and you see this. Like when I say old for dwarves, this is like this guy is hundreds of years old. He comes out, he has a cane, his back is hunched, his beard is long and snow white, as are his eyes, wrinkles. He still has armor though, like oh! still like some like patchwork. That's right. Um, That's you know, right. Um, what is it like half half plate half kind plate, of like yeah. the yeah. Just like a breastplate and a couple of yeah, cauldrons. A couple things, yeah. An axe at his side. And he comes exactly. slowly, he comes up towards you, puts his hand out towards you. You're Eric. Yes, sir. My son has told me about you. I, um, in Dwarven, I say, Thank you. It's a debt I cannot repay. And I hand him the the bar. As you do this, you see his eyes kind of widen a little bit. And then they start to glisten a bit. Do you know what this is, son? No, I do not. My boy says that he saw the roots and they said something and he kind of smiles and like you can see his head turned towards him a little bit as in like he was a little wrong says something like some treasures are worth more than others i believe this is close but it is not that accurate then he holds it in the light of the dwarven forge you can see the runes light up again and he traces his thumb across them Yes, as I thought. They say some treasures are worth the cost of others. In ancient times, dwarves were known to be tricky and they would hide something precious inside something valuable, hiding it in plain sight. Many would never think to destroy the valuable or the precious. Would you risk it? And he holds it up in his hand over the flame. Dude, yeah. I got to. He's talking about destroying it? Yeah, yeah. And it hits the surface. And you, you see uh, Norwick like lunge for a moment and he's like, oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you hear it sizzle and you see the gold kind of dissipate across the surface and slowly as it begins to dissolve into the, the flame and the magma essentially of this incredibly hot dwarven furnace. If I am correct, You wield something so incredibly rare. And he pulls this large, almost like um, screen 
like essentially like this stone screen out and you can see resting in the bottom of the screen that looks to be no. A container. Oh, there. <laughs> go and it begins that. to cool, and as he touches it, he goes, Can you open it? Do I hear that? I know it doesn't. Take some time to turn this. <laughs> oh, oh, Absalom. It's actually supposed to slide. It's fine. It's yours. Yeah. If you put it back, you may not think it's inside. <laughs> if not, I've messed with it a bunch to try to get it to work. So I can help me out. <laughs> you find me. That slid. Yeah, there you go. I believe this may be what they call a kingdom key. <laughs> That's pretty cool, dude. Let's go. Oh, what is that? Hold it up to the camera. Hold it up to the camera. In the ancient times when dwarven kings would have, to, would have to leave their domains, they would take with them a single magic key that could never be taken by force. That could only be passed down freely this gift is of immeasurable worth for it is two treasures one half is the fortress and all that is inside and the second half arguably more valuable is the crown child this in the eyes of any dwarf will make you a king go and take your fortress claim your crown what? you can see tears beginning to stream down his cheek <laughs> And over time, his son leads him back into the home. Wait, so you can actually marry the Duchess now? The Duchess isn't the one he wants to marry. He wants the Queen. He's going way above Duchesses. Yeah, besides, the Duchess is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Manchester boy! <laughs> As you begin to make your way back the sun's setting over the over the mountains it's dusk the last bit of light kind of glowing across the city of bros you begin to hear the thunder but not from the sky from behind you you turn back and you can see bursting through the gates where it looks to be a series of three people all in royal attire armor and banners of the queen riding through screaming loudly so that all can hear the king is dead all hear the king is dead and that's where we will end tonight's Whoa. session what is it like every time you're at the door in place something comes through that gate <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, stop going back dude. Right, thanks everybody for tuning in thanks for watching joining in the chat we greatly appreciate it guys we will see you next time. Did the tablet ever come in? Yeah, I got tablet it. Ever come in? Okay. Dude, I'm not ready. Just... That was a bang ring, dude. Dude, that was solid.
Good stuff. I'm saying what a crazy episode, boys. Yeah, I'm, dude. I forget.